Start recording and start streaming. Start streaming. Wait, Holy Kelly shit, I think it worked. Streaming. Uh, Wait, here, Kelly let me send you the stream URL. Excellent connection. Stream URL. Copy. Okay, it looks like we're live. Let me send this to you guys so you guys can... Let's get the feedback loop going. It is in usual chat. Wait, actually, hang on. Okay, it looks like we're live. Let me send this to you guys so you guys can... <laughs> oh, shit, it works. Let's get the feedback loop going. It is in usual No, why chat. are you doing that? Wait, Stop. Actually, Stop okay, feedback like looping. We're live. Let me send this to you guys so you guys can... <laughs> oh, shit, it works. Let's get the feedback loop going. It is in usual chat. No, why chat. are you doing that? Wait, Stop. Actually, Stop feedback looping. <laughs> let me send this to you guys. I hate you so much. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um Let me I'm going to fucking stab you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Stop dying, damn it. Hello, ham. Hello. Okay. Wait, shit. I got to turn streamer mode on. I forgot. There we go. <laughs> What was okay. that one video of um, I show speed doing the sleep stream and somebody posted the video link to his own stream in the chat causing the loudest health feedback loop that woke him up. Yep. Share. Copy. <laughs> close. I'm going to post this in the Discord channel. Okay. I'm going to put it in episode link dump. Hello, Sean. You get your fucking wish. What was my wish? Streaming. All right now. Yes. Oh, hi everybody. Well, do this Joe Rogan style. Should I uh, nice. should I tag everyone or would that be ill advised? Do it. Do it. Fuck it. We ball. Yeah. Thirty people. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Do it live. <laughs> now, now you are sure we can save this after after it's done. I have OBS both recording and I have it streaming at the same time. All right, keep an eye on that so that doesn't fuck up at any point. Gotcha. Okay, let me All right. get that back All right. open. I am in no condition to run a game, but I'm doing it anyway, because I'm going to tell everyone else what I've told you. Uh, today's work week, because I've been substituting for a sales position, dude's route goes from Kannapolis to Rockwell, where to give you perspective as to how long that is, it takes you 20 to 30 minutes to drive between those two towns. And so Sean, pretty much what you what you were doing before the pandemic. And the thing is with the with working that kind of route that he has, my shifts have been somewhere between ten to twelve hours in length. Good and lord. I I go I I leave the house at five ten, I don't come back um no. I leave the house at five forty, I don't come back until six fifty. Yeah, fuck I've that. I said it before, and I say I'll say it again. Logistics is a bitch, man. It really. My, is. my yeah. first job, working for for a logistics company, dude. Weekends, I was working 12, 14 hour days. I it, that it is a grind. We'd have things like going over, like going over the border in like Canada. You have yes. to be awake, or whenever they get to the border, you're just on call. <laughs> like eight o'clock in the night, you, you, you're <laughs> you're eating dinner in the middle of a movie. I've had to step out of movies before because what happens is, is if they get to the border and there's a fuck up, you've got to call the 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 broker and work it out and make sure that they get the right paperwork. Right. No matter what you're doing, because they're you're gonna have to pay by the hour. That guy doesn't get his uh, his paperwork in. Exactly. Mm. All right. All right. <clears throat> this is episode 20. Um, surprisingly, we have played this game for 20 episodes, and you guys at home watch this live. Um, you somehow stuck around for all 20 of these. Yes, thank you to every yeah. single one of you for all of your love and support on this channel and everything we're doing, and thank you for watching. Yeah, and yeah. technically the game's... Technically, the game is done because Malkath has been defeated, but we've got a lot of stuff to continue after the afterwards. We got some nice hands for tying up. It's yeah. like it's like when you played the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon as a kid and you you defeated Dialga and you think the game's done, 
And then it turns out that was only the game's halfway point, and there's an entire campaign afterwards. Yeah, it's like the so, um, was it's like the epilogue in Red Dead Two. Yeah, it's it's not gonna be that long, but we do have a lot of stuff to get through. Right. Well, speaking of, let me right. uh, spend my XP real quick because I bought some stuff. So I, because I am, you know, what we refer to in the business as a based alcoholic. I have taken, I'm going to take Brew as one of my gifts so if we can manage to make it back to a cairn where I can find a spirit. Uh... Speaking, of, speaking of, um, of those. Yes. Uh, the Easter Bunny gave me, uh, 13, 13 cans of beer for Easter. <laughs> Why and 13? 13 is because, uh, the, t the curling tournament that my mom went to, they had no meals provided, but instead had free beer. So she was taking more than her fair share and was stuffing them in her purse. And she was saving them specifically because she went, She likes doing Easter baskets. She likes doing that. That's so funny. that was mine that year. <laughs> it's funny. And... You've got an Easter bunny giving you beer, and I've got an Easter Kyle that, that, that gave me beer. It's fantastic. Well, no, I was <laughs> Santa Claus is what I was. Oh, oh that's oh, right. Oh. You, were Santa, you were Santa Claus. I was Santa Claus. <laughs> nice. We got all I give you the most Fianna gift possible is what I did. <laughs> I don't even remember true. what I wrote on the on the letter there, and I took one extra willpower. It was nice. I remember it was very nice. It was it was, it, it was uh, I I vaguely remember, but I, I won't say on stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you good, bro? Okay, uh, so there's that. I will have four XP left after that. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Ryan will not be with us, but he said that um, that Grim wanted to sleep anyway. <laughs> so yes, I think we all need a nap after this. Yeah. Shall we continue? Uh, yes, to the best of our ability. We are still in the Chrysler building, but the Malkavian shit has gone away, thankfully. Yes. Correct. Taking you down here as to what is definitely the Chrysler building. Uh, close enough. See here. And I can finally get this song stopped. I, what happened last session? Malkoff, right? Yeah, we kicked and his... We came, we saw, we kicked his ass. He also <laughs> showed the Roll20 chat log where you were typing in all of your little codes. Oh, yeah, to try to because get I was around. dumb and didn't do the thing. Let, let's go... Let me, let me scroll back a little bit and show everybody, like, the recap of all those fucking rolls that we These did. These big damn rolls. Yeah, and... huge rolls. Reynard Fontaine kicked ass, as you can see. Look at all those fucking tens. Uh, Chico yeah, also it looks kicked. Like. Yes. As it turns out, those of you who missed last episode, well, actually, yeah, uh, Reynard was carrying the avatar, was the avatar of Coyote. <laughs> who would have fucking thought? One of his many faces. Yes. Uh, You've been a new plant this entire time. Yep. Big initiative roll right there. Fuck load of rolls right there from Malkov. Uh, fucking vanishing strike. Seven successes. Shot him in the face. Twice. Uh, where did I get it. to my command? Shot his ass. Uh, I rolled soak. I managed to barely survive the first barrage. Still in the splat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you for... This is why we're live streaming. I didn't fucking do any of that. Yeah, so... Let me... <laughs> back from the start. This is why we're streaming now, so they can catch me when I fuck up. Like I said, fuck load of rolls. Now, now what were you doing? What's up? Oh, they caught me you, when they said did. that we were still in the splash screen. So, yeah. Yeah. Reynard Fontaine kicking ass. Eight successes there. Chico... Devastating with the shoddy. Uh, Gotta show this picture again? Yes, Coyote. The face of Loki himself. I took a picture of this this terrible character design from uh, Chronicles of Darkness. Where it was... it's It was like their bootleg Malkavian vampire. That ha was called Loki. So I just... Took that and that through a fusion three times. And then the output was that. And I decided, yeah, it looks good enough. Let's use that. Now, you, uh, that, yeah, that looks yeah. more like a Loki than like the anorexic douchebag you have for Chronicles of Darkness instead. And this. God, the artwork in that book was terrible. 
this is what killed Malkev right here is all that. And then I decided uh, Malkev tried to throw a blue screen up. So I decided to boot the game from an ISO. And then we spawn back in here and now we should probably go home. No, oh, hang on, the stream's getting fucky. And my internet just shit itself, didn't it? Hang on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, my, my internet just fucking died on me for no reason. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, give me a sec. I'll I'll get it I'll get it I'll get it sorted. Give it a sec. Lovely. Well no, my computer's fine. Hang on, let me pull up sys info. Give me a sec. Uh, system info, system monitor. That might actually be the thing. System yeah. monitor. Uh, network is trying, and it is trying so hard. That's 400 kilobytes. Actually, no, that's only 400 kilobytes a day. Hold up. I'm receiving again. Uh, error connection went away on... That, I think it was just the bandwidth. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, it says my connection's back all of a sudden. Now I got excellent connection on YouTube. Let me restart Discord and see if I can fix that. All right, there's that. Open that. All you can hear is like my computer just humming away in the background. My computer is handling all the rendering fantastically, but, uh, yeah, I think it's just my internet, which is weird because my internet's actually good now. So I figured I could do this. I mean, I, like I said, I have it recording simultaneously so I could cut that out of the VOD and then just upload that separate. Yes. Discord is still fucky on my end. I'll see what I can do. Uh, let me reload the page. Am I what? It probably, like, at least they can hear me in the stream. I don't think they can hear anybody else. <laughs> Shit. Check your cable. Johnny mentioned beers. Oh, 
Oh uh, yeah, so everybody in the chat like can hear you on the phone, but they can't hear anybody else right now. Uh, I'm uh, doing the best I can, I'm chat. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm having fun. Uh, I'm gonna. T- <laughs> okay i'm gonna break the stream for a little i'm gonna break the stream for a little bit uh we might have to go to just recording or we'll try it again just a sec give me a give me a take fellas we had 11 concurrent views <laughs> become glass walker oh my god dismiss that stream finished discord's back Hello? Hello? There you are. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay, uh, I think streaming at the same time you, as Discord just, just... fucking hunk up on me? Yeah, I well, because I'm in the call now. <laughs> Should I try it again? Gonna, this is all This is all because we didn't take cockroach as a totem. Just leave it <laughs> no. <laughs> so should I not yeah, try this again? I the game. Hmm. Should we go that from the top? What's up? Should we do this whole thing all over again from the top? Depends. Do you want me to uh, try and do that again? Yeah, let's try, let's try Let's try this again. All right. Once more with feeling. Hopefully my internet doesn't shit itself. All right. Do we have uh, the actual recording again? Uh, no, the thing is still recording. Let me stop the stream and then restart the stream. All right. And let me check system monitor. Uh, sending. Network sends are now fine. How... Now, how long does that stay on the YouTube channel before it just deletes itself? I don't know. I haven't looked at the VOD settings yet. Let me refresh that page. I didn't realize I'd auto delete it. I assumed that only, uh. I know that. Thing. Um. What is it? Close that. It's because the, the champion within, I told you about the big I'm friends with who does the diet channel. Whenever he stops streaming, streaming that entire stream immediately becomes part of it. After he does that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's how a lot yeah. of them go. OBS. Yeah. Settings. Stream. Okay, I can't change those settings in the middle of the stream, but that's fine. Um, check, check. He was a superhero. Check, check. He was a superhero. Close that. Stream setup help done. That one should be good to go. Uh, we're trying to get together. Yeah, it says I've gone. Like it says I'm live on on OBS, but it doesn't say I'm live on YouTube. So I'm not sure what's going I th- on. There. I I think this is creating more work than we really need to because you're going to, have to edit all this shit out. Probably. I don't know. Can somebody else go on the uh, Galliard channel and see if it uh, see if it's doing anything? I mean, I'm, I'm I'm pulling up the YouTube application as I speak. Oh, here, let me right. let me go to Discord and I'll send it to you. No, nope, it's not there. It did save the video. That's still there. Okay. Immediately go and enter the account on our side. I'm just going to t- retell the stream. Right. Jack, Jack, you buzz. Right, your videos. Hero. Nope. Looks like Sid, um... Let me close see. that and I'll open it back up, see if that helps any. Uh, Dude, somebody pulled up where the apocalypse shit on this, uh, on this channel. Oh, you don't say. Go live. Yep. I did not mean to fucking click that. Okay. This just lay itself? The stream uh, just lay itself? I don't think so. No, I started and stopped the stream. I, 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 no, I think so on my end because it just automatically stopped. Um, it says go to group test stream and it's not in our save videos it's not in anything i have no idea it's probably unlisted what the status of that video is uh, re- regardless i'm still recording so all right we're still recording yep it's gonna be a massive fucking image splice yeah it is some group. i'll i'll fuck with it later all right, all right this all right let's just go ahead and let's stop with it we, we just lost three minutes of playtime. all right sorry about that okay right. no stream right, then. So be- 
Uh, so because of that, this we're now getting a third episode on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like dead oh. ass. I just lost that much progress. So. That's fine. Yeah, don't uh, threaten me with the good times. <laughs> let the good times roll. Anyway, okay. Yeah. So let's All just right. record the uh, let's just record the video. Fine then. We're still All recording. Right. So whenever uh, you're ready. Uh, so, so is it? Are, 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 are we recording and are we off the splash splash screen? We are recording. We are on the desktop. Yep, yep. Okay. You. And the stream can see the street, right? I turned off the stream because you told me so. Yeah, no, no you, your end, your end. Yes, the the recording feed okay. is on the street. We're good. Okay. All right. So Chico, last we ended, you were peeking off off to the side to check into Deep Umbro to see whether or not it's actually safe for us to leave. Yes. What is Chico seeing down there? What you're looking down at, it's just this red sea. It looks like magma. We're seeing all these different faces and hands moving in, too. A lot of people have died over the last four years. You're seeing what looks like a soup of their souls moving around. But you're beginning to see it slowly disperse. They're all pushing away from each other, spreading out across the city. Where it's almost like you pulled the plug from a bathtub and all the water is draining is what it looks like yeah seeing how that's gone and there's no immediate threats chico we give a thumbs up to the party i think it's safe to try to get out of here you uh, don't want to stick around much longer no certainly not christ i need to smoke all right I think uh, we're just about I done will, yep i will try to roll noses to get out of here then See. Difficulty? All right, roll Gnosis difficulty nine. Difficulty nine. Fire. Hey. How many successes? Three. All right. Three successes. As you begin to step sideways out of here, see, let's just say for the joke of it that, uh, Tyler, you do mess you immediately step sideways. Into a GM layer you go. Right. Well, there he went. Um, Elmira, uh, did not going to leave the door open for a lady, is he? Uh, the gauntlet's uh, well, not so much a door as it is, like, you know, a spring trap that you gotta shove your way out yeah. of. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, surprised we don't have any questions for Reynard as to, you know, like, what the fuck are you? Well, she well, goes oh. like... I have questions once we leave. Oh, we don't want to know that. <laughs> I, I want to know that. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're all over confused. <laughs> so, as you're looking, um, Reynard and Chico, man, I'm you're, you're beginning to hear what sounds like a low growl coming from the, the Sea of Souls. Uh, so, sounds like um, sounds like congestion down there, right? She was gonna look back over at the growl. See, as you're looking at it, it looks like something is being to part its way from the Sea of Souls. Oh no, it's not a, it's not a Wendigo, is it? Pushing his way out of the ground. We've successfully back from his um. His battle with, I don't know, this giant death god. <laughs> yeah, Chica's gonna stay for just a second to see if it is him. Right. So as you're looking, uh, it seems that we forgot about something that was in the scene. Oh yeah, so, that. Right. Yep. As you see it, immediately crawls right, way back up. Uh, Beast of War. Oh shit, yeah. yeah. I'm out. Is it, <laughs> is it going to force its way back up? <laughs> You think this is over? No. You may have defeated the Antediluvian, but I am still here. I demand satisfaction. As the Beast of War is immediately going to pull his way up here. Oh, fuck. Run. Yeah. <laughs> she... This is As... way... The... Malkav was above Chico's 
Okay, you're great. This is way above it. <laughs> oh, it's the <clears throat> difficulty I... to step sideways. Nine. And I don't think I can even turn back into Loki if I wanted to right now. Yes. As you're as you're trying to shift to Loki, you see Freya immediately grabs uh grabs a sword, gets it a gets it ready, starts aiming out at the creature. Chico, you will step sideways in three minutes. Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> as uh me being a little bit quiet, as on my right, you're looking at this, the beast of war opens his jaws the inside of it. You see some of the red souls from before all these ghosts began rolling out of his mouth as if he was drinking water and just opened it while he was drinking, not swallowing it. And you begin to see what looks like this green haze began to form in his mouth. Oh, Freya, can you speed up time for us? <laughs> as Freya is immediately going to... Ability. She's going to look at you. She's going to see if she can accelerate your personal time. For all she of can. you. All right. You will now step sideways in one minute. Ah. As um, did I did I change did into what? uh did I change into Loki or no? I I only all had right. um. You you roll willpower to do that. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, Yay. Alara, you, yeah, uh, you difficulty... don't go anywhere. Difficulty difficulty. Eight. Let's see. Now nope, Loki's turned his back on you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably used him too much. I step uh, sideways be just all... for what? Just before the rest of my party gets fucking killed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you all step sideways at the same time. You don't go ahead of the pack. Oh, I thought the, we were all going. The goal was to be no. The goal was to be noble and try to turn into Loki and keep him busy until everyone had a chance to get out of there, but that didn't work. <laughs> oh my so God. I'm also going to step sideways. <laughs> All right. Well, Reynard, you're out of here. Oh, there you are. Well, bye. <laughs> yeah. There he is. He dips. <laughs> right. I was going to be super noble, and then I decided to just bolt. <laughs> I mean, As you... Your your trump card had decided to uh, go back into the deck, so really wasn't much you could do about that. In all honesty, as as bef before this goes off, Ch uh, Chico and Elmira, you prepare to soak before coming out of the woods. See, nope, wrong song. <laughs> Stupid fucking thing. A Metroid music. I realized that I actually copy the link. Ah, nobody can get technology right today. As all the tension immediately deflates from the scene. Let's see, now let's do it right this time. As coming out, you see one archface step out of the Feywild. Boom! Oh, is she back? Oh shit, she is back. Yep. You see that she comes in with her blade, flashes against the Beast of War. Forcing him to close his mouth before she jumps away, the Beast of War snaps at her, missing her. She's gonna look at you. What are you doing standing here? Get ready. Arm yourselves. We have a fight to finish. Why? You... Oh, you're not gonna stay here? You, you wanna retreat so badly? Fine. The Unseelie Court can handle this ourselves. As... She got all the woods. What? Did Chico insight that to see if Yeah, she... go ahead. Alright, uh, that's... Uh, perception and empathy. Perception and empathy. Difficulty 6. If you want the glory of having defeated Malkav, it looks like she is going to take the personal glory of defeating the Beast of War. Or at least a face of the Beast of War. And from out of the woods, boom, the big, muscly arms of Glut the Spoiler reappear. Along with that, Panzer Shrek, Danny Glan Grand Slam, and Domri Trotter. Yeah. As they're all, they're all step out. I don't think it's... Chico's convinced they have this, but he's here for a minute, no matter what. As all of them are going to steal themselves. 
We're going to see Grim. Uh, this is our excuse for my not being here. He's going to step up immediately. Uh, go back in the cross form, roll his shoulders. I'm ready for another fight. <laughs> He's going to go over. Oh, God! <laughs> see, Fre Freya's going to look over. She's going to look at you, Chico, shrug her shoulders. I guess we're doing this. Uh, if we survive, we'll meet up with you soon. Well, you have me until I leave. As Elmira, you can try to step sideways again. Uh, well, it looks like we're fighting. Uh, what does Elmira... the little lightning bolt on my icon mean? Uh, you're stunned. That's what I meant. Oh. Oh, I, I think or, I think I'm probably or, or over you that were now. stunned last session, then it ended. Yeah, All I'm right. already at so one Elmira... penalty five. So. Yep. Yep. Elmira, yeah. you want to stick around and fight? I'm thinking about it. It looks like yeah. we've got uh, the gang uh, coming to our rescue. Yeah, but this is the All fucking right. beast of war. I mean, I'm probably still going to come right. back if Reynard says, like, oh, they're still in there fighting, you know, the worm. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, also, I used my Black Fury gift, uh, Wild Resurgence, so I'm not actually wounded anymore. Wonderful. This is why the Black Furies are so damn hard to kill. <laughs> See, you know um, what, Chico, seeing how everyone else is going to be here, if Reynard and uh, Tyler want to come back, he's okay going out like this. <laughs> he's already missing a leg. See, so you're pushing yourself up, Chico, getting that shotgun ready. So it is now that we immediately exit this action scene. And immediately find out what happened to what happened to our favorite schmuckhead. So Tyler, so I get these tokens out of here. Oh. Tyler, sun's up. Beautiful. What a view. Finally step out. Ah, uh, long last. Sun's back up. Look over, and uh, a lot of death happened. Look oh, over, yeah, and it, uh... It seems that the Ratkin were busy, last time you looked. As... You look in the streets, you see that the Ratkin are out, at, with machine guns and swords, and there appear to be a lot of ghouled men and women that were down in the streets. Oh, it's, uh... It's the yield, I put my blood in the tap water, and everybody drinks the tap and goes and becomes a ghoul shtick. Well, the masquerade doesn't matter when you're an antediluvian, I suppose. Well, the antediluvian's dead, so surely the rock and got us. And with the sun up, any vampire that was out in the street should <clears throat> uh, turn into dust. And it's still snow all over the ground. Yeah, so that should be the end of Vigo, right? We shouldn't have to worry about him anymore. Where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> uh, Reynard Fontaine, you may now enter the scene. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Just grabbing my... Grabbing my token. Oh, there you are. Yeah, there you are. I've already put you out. Yes. Oh, you have. Where am I? Uh, right yeah. over here. You're down... Yeah, down here. It's a big map. We need orange... Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> Hello. Where'd everyone is go? Uh, it seems... Seems everyone's... Still there, they haven't shifted yet. Wait, didn't we'll you see a... the Beast of War? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A um, little bit of a problem. Beast of War reappeared. Um, let's give everyone a minute or two to show up, and if they don't, maybe we should go get them. Fuck that! Fight the one where Breeds Road drives! I'm going back in there. <laughs> All right. Oh, by, by the way, this this helicopter is here now. This is actually part of the map now. Didn't I tear off one of the wings or one of the propellers? Yes, I did. Fuck yes, it. No, yes. I'm going back in. All right. Questions the better part right, of the Uh, still difficulty nine. Yes, difficulty nine. All right, two successes. Reynard, you doing the same? I guess. 
I was half expecting him to get like no successes and be like, by the time he shifted over, everyone came back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I'm on it. If it's Gnosis, I got this shit. It'd just be really funny to have, like, he shows up and it's just him and the Beast of War. And it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking win, can I? Right. Hey, there we go. All right. All right. You're about to step inside, my. All right. So as both of you get ready, going back in, you immediately shift back. See, let me get you. Let me get you, Jokers, out of the GM layer. Let's see, as both of you are shifting back in, and behold, it was, it is the greatest fight, and it was the greatest fight that you will never see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, congratulations, fight's already done. What do you mean? Yeah. Got air beast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see, as you go back, Elmira is. While well, a lot of amusing in um, injuries happen, Elmira is missing both of her legs beneath the knee. That was um, I was pretty impressed of how she she was able to survive that bite like that. You're. <laughs> <t> <laughs> Let's see, I'm looking at this, Grim. It's on his back, completely covered in blood, as Freya's over to his side, resuscitating him. Uh, Tyrina, with her sword shattered and her armor shredded, is looking back over, having shed the last of her tears and her glamour to revive the dead bodies of her party members. And... Christ's sake, I was gone for two minutes! Yeah, yeah, Ch Chico, once again, you took no damage that entire fight. <laughs> <laughs> he goes just looking perfect in a corner. <laughs> what the I'm fuck? I'm convinced I'm immortal. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't matter what happens, the Bonars will always survive. All together. When yeah. shifting out the yeah. fucking fee. Now together and shifting yes. out of fucking the Umbra. You said we're good to go, so I shifted out the Umbra. I'm gone for two minutes, I come back, and everyone's fucking dead. Well, not everybody, Elmira's um, still alive. You're right, love. <laughs> good uh, lord. I'm a, little, uh, a little rough, yeah. All right, we're going to need to let Freya rest up a bit so she can grow your legs back. After we resuscitate Grim again, and I am out of Noxus. As you're going to see, Freya looks up after putting her ear to his mouth. She's just going to look back at you. Uh, he says he's finally ready to let to rest. What? Uh, he's he, he's done for the day. Oh, okay. All right, he had me worried her for a minute. You should have seen it, Tyler. It was a thing of glory. I don't mean. <sighs> Whatever. No glory you know for what? you. You know what? We killed an antediluvian. That's fine. <sighs> Can we go home now? She is going. I think it's time we we get on out of here. All right. <laughs> Tyler's going to pick up Elmira, like, by her arms and, like, kind of wear her like a backpack. Yay. This is just like that scene from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, uh, yay wasn't the emotion I thought you were going to have, having no legs, but we'll get it fixed, don't worry. The best part about this is that I lied that was actually from Return of the Sith. Uh, the, the, the Sith strikes back. Fuck. <laughs> Tyler's gonna look over. Donnie, you alright? Empire Strikes Back, for fuck's sake, I forgot what that movie was called. Yes. <laughs> As you're gonna Star see, Wars 5. You're, you're gonna see Danny, like, smashing his bat in the ground trying to figure out the name of a Star Wars movie. He just triggered so many people. Yeah. Danny! <laughs> yeah. Are you alive yeah, or not? He's gonna spin his head around. You're gonna see, uh, 
Yeah, he's covered in blood from head to toe, as well, that, that's typical for Danny Grand Slam. He's fine. All right. Okay. Eh! Char! Ah, you schmuckhead, you missed the whole thing! I was gone for two minutes! Say, you sure see it! I picked up the center lock, and I hit a home run with it right into his tooth. Ah, oh, you'll have to do it again to show me. Anyway, uh, oh wait, I've got never any more money for. Oh, well, I could probably steal a bread truck on the way back and give it to the raccoons to get all my money back. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm all back. As he's gonna pick up his bat, go we'll see Garrick Panzer Shrek. Out of all the changelings, he took the least amount of damage. Well, it fits being a troll. He's got what in the deep dreaming in the deep umbra, fourteen strength. Good fucking lord. He's able to rip the street off the ground from beneath his feet and then throw it as a weapon. All right, there we go. We got glory. You got glory. Everybody's a glorious and happy day. Yep. Let's go back Rainer, to the car and get a at... get a smoke, a drink, and a nap. As you're looking at Tyler, you immediately feel two arms wrap themselves around you from behind. Who is that? As once again, it's your it's your fan. <laughs> oh, Reynard. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Reynard. As Darby's going to look up at you. Look, I knew there was something just crazy about you. I knew it. I knew it. I can smell it on you. I can still smell it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, it feels good and it feels bad to have attention at the same time, right? Zero patient for Sims. <laughs> he is going to have the roughest night of his life when he gets back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, um, if she offered you a head, mind the teeth. Exactly. <laughs> and oh. mind the horns, and mind the uh, torches and the wax. Yeah. If 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 looks could kill, like like if I could literally shoot daggers with my eyes, that's what I would be doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just just the dirtiest of looks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Are we done here? Snubber. Yeah, that, now that we are done with this scene, all right, let's get let's get this out of here. Off to the next scene. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best combat encounter in the game. <laughs> it's the best combat encounter because you don't lose anything from it. Yep. Okay. Gnosis. Difficulty nine. Right. One more time. All right. Here's where I fuck it up. You need to make one success. Um, uh, I'm in a big Kingdom Hearts mood. If you can't tell. Ah. I did make one success. <laughs> All right. Are people so stepping go. sideways again? Yeah, yes. we're gonna we're we're going home. I think everybody's I'm tired. All, we all have we're one going ahead and put you on this map. We're going. <laughs> yeah, so there we are. Just Sean, you remember this? Sadly, you'd step outside. The sky was orange. That was horrible. It wasn't even this this yeah. the the fact that it was orange that was horrible. It was the freaking smell. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Ryan Scott. No. What's up? Ryan's got no power. Kyle's got no bridge. Uh, right. Uh, Sean had no sky. Sean had lung cancer from so the Canadians it's, burning all their forests to prove climate change be, is real. It's either gonna be me or Meepy that loses something next. All right. So now that we're outside. I will. I'm not going to go into detail about how do we get off the Chrysler building because we did fly. So it's not the elevator. too much about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we stepped out of the. Yeah, we probably could at this point. Except the streets are crawling with ghouls like and ratkins, so that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, it's seven in the morning, and there's a small war going on beneath us, and I don't think any of us want to participate in it. You're top. I'm going to be honest. Uh. I'm all for destroying Ramish behavior, but I'm a bit, I'm a bit beat down. Yeah. It, yeah, it does raise a question now. Uh, what exactly is going to happen to New York after, now that the Malkavians and Setites aren't going to be a uh -huh. threat anymore? I mean, if they, if they know what's good for them, they're going to retreat. 
Uh, check usual chat, and you'll have your answer. Say usual chat. All right. There it is. Oh, it sick! Is. The thunder. <laughs> Dial V we'll for summon Vendetta. the spirit of liberty. Well, you know what you can do. You can always call down um, you and your connections to the Shell Lords. So you can just beg to the admin, the admins to summon Grandfather Thunder and have him take control. Uh, uh, but probably uh, well, at this point, I just want the hell out of this goddamn city. <laughs> all right. So we have a few places we can go. Um, now that the vampires are gone and the sun is up, we probably could check out Coney Island proper again. Um, Chico yeah. and Elmira we can either go to the amusement park, the Coney Island park, or the basketball courts, depending on which one. Uh, Bonars or Black Fury, so we can check out um, either one. Or, if we really want to, we can go to Tyler's cabin again. Uh, it uh, might be a good idea to check into Bonars. It's been a minute. And yeah. third, third option, no, fourth option, the North Pole survived all this, so we can go back to Freya's club. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like going on another drug trip. <laughs> yeah, she goes curious of what's left to Coney Island after all that. Yeah, that, it'd be best to check in. I agree. That's the Bonars. Yep. All right. Sure. Let's make sure you're all right. All right. You're getting all dusted off. Ah, just head on back over to Bonarville. As you're going to see the the, the unseelie changelings finally step out of the deep dreaming. They're going to look over at you. Tayrina is going to try to fix her hair the best she can. <sighs> Another victory for the unseelie court. <sighs> Glamour is free. And we show that we can fight just as hard as any other Geru can. Oh, real quick, before they before they uh, leave, uh, what do I need to roll to remember the thing that uh, Gurney wanted me to tell them? Let's see, how much you want to roll? Let's see if you actually. Let's see if Tyler, you made the judgment call to see if you actually remember it. Uh, like I said, I don't remember any notes about it. All right. Uh, Gurney. So therefore, Owen. you do not remember it. <laughs> Gurney asks... Oh, Gurney asks Tyler to join House Fiona. Or House Fiona. Um, but I don't think she gave me a specific message to... Um, a specific message to... Who was the... Um, he, was the he was the master of the right, the blind Fiona. Yeah, Shane. Shane. She had a message for yeah. Shane, but I have no notes about it. She did want me to join House Fiona, but that's more up to that's more up to Convictus than it is up to anyone else. Yeah, so you're gonna ask Convictus about that? Uh House Fiona has to choose you. So she's gonna look at you. She's gonna look over her gaze is going to land more on Elmira than anyone else. You fought well. You've proven yourself to be a. You are you. You are a Black Fury. The way your gifts work, correct? Who me? Yes, you. Yeah. Black you've Fury. Black Fury gifts. Uh, uh, you've, uh, you've proven yourself to be a. Uh, a woman that any man would be proud to have. Okay. And you certainly deserve better than the piece of shit that you've chosen to be your boyfriend, but it's you have the freedom to make your own decisions. So. Uh, I think I have to object to you calling my boyfriend a piece of shit. No, oh, you don't know why he's like when he's drunk. I don't know, Drew. What's the time it's a show? We mostly just mushed a lot. I sort of assumed he was always at least half cut. Ah, uh, well, here's hoping that one day you wise up and you find a man more like that. She's, she's going to point over at Grim. Uh, who am I talking with? Sorry? Uh, Convictus, the, the she leader. Okay. And for that, she's going to crack her knuckles. 
And she's just going to jump off the side of the building and Peter Pan her way off into the distance. The rest of the the, the Fae are going to give you a little nod before they start jumping off as well. You're going to see Dan look back. Ah, Tyler. Yeah. You come around and say, we'll drink after this. But first, you better tap that. He's going to point over at Almira. I already did in his fucking bed. And I'll do it again. So you, you gotta do it again, right? Fuck it, do it again. I'm gonna give him a hug and just give him a farewell yeah. pat. Yeah, he's gonna give you a little hug. He's gonna punch you right above your nuts as a joke. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck I did. Yeah, and he's gonna jump off and fly away too. And Renard, go see Domery give you a little wink. Before he, maybe she jumps off, jumps off and flies away. Ah. <sighs> At last, that person's gone. Tyler's gonna lean over. Uh, it's against the rules of the Karn to, uh, to, uh, lay the fairies. But if you meet her outside the Karn, I've got a, I've got a little book of cautionary notes for you. As okay. Sean with his, Sean with his usual asexual characters. <laughs> yeah. That's why. <laughs> It's what happens when you marry. You stop dating the characters. That's true. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> All right. Next, next, next role of game. We're gonna make you a dad. We're gonna see how you interact with that. As a, as, as a dad, uh, probably how I interact in real life. As a dad. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I already right. play as Colt. So. Uh, I, I, I am a very serious method actor. Yes. So so serious that I had the kid <laughs> in order to play the role first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. For fuck's sake, where are all my tokens gone, Kyle? I, bro, I didn't. There fuck it is. With them. Finally found it. All right. all right. So, Coney Island, let's make sure everyone's alive. Yeah, and make sure everything's still just as wrecked as we left it. Yep. So, as you all get up and let's see, leave the leave the method undetermined, as you all make the perilous journey back to back to Brooklyn, and you see the gigantic crater in the ground that Grisha left behind. And uh, oh, wow, uh, oh, Freddy Mason, was that Malcolm's man that caused that? <laughs> I mean, uh, that's a lot of people that died, right? I wonder if that Freddy kid's alright. All right. For the rest of his bond, even. I wonder where they're at. Uh, currently off in the distance, v Vigo Corinth is rolling around inside of his crypt. They're just waiting for the sun to go back now. <laughs> that's gonna, gonna be, be like so another comes out. 10 hours, I think. It's 7 in the yep. morning. Wait, wouldn't they have heard the psychic scream from Malkav? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it woke his ass up from day sleep. Fucking... For the second time. Vigo's probably trashing a hotel room while Ragnar's just sitting out in the hallway with a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a horrible day. It is. No rest for the wicked. That it is. As you are making your way back over... And let's see. Well, the Ferris wheel is still standing, Jeez. which is what? good. It's good to see that. That's the she most also... rickety thing there. Let's see, she's looking around, and yep, you still see that all the garbage is still there. It looks like great trash heap is fine. Oh yeah. Everybody's favorite, and. See, as you're getting closer and closer... Oh, what was that? Some just jumped into the garbage. Moving around. Is that that Tourette's guy video where he had all the beer beer cans in his house? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was fucking scuffed. It... Yeah. <laughs> That's what being a hoarder is like, right? Yeah, it is. I used to work with a hoarder. Yeah. Playing the whore and hoarder. <laughs> Dear... Here we go. Everything is ready. As Vigo 
Uh, you are having the worst night of your life, and Chico is going home, and... Hang on, man. those don't look like wolves. Did, did, did we just... Did we just walk over into Ratville? Oh, shit. They fucking showed up to... <laughs> yeah, Chico and this will probably, like, start loading a shotgun. He has zero patience right now for the rats. Is you're getting prepared. Everybody's getting ready to step into Ratville. As let's see, we can now do the map transition. So let me just go ahead. Let's stop this. What, what's an appropriate rat song we can play? Uh, uh, play something goofy. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Is goofy enough for you? <laughs> Bit too whimsical. The rat can do crack. Yep. Behold, the whimsical crack den. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? They took this car too? Nah, there's rats everywhere. <laughs> well, fuck. This is this is just this is just brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, Chico's oh. gonna show. Up. Okay, where's y'all's boss? <laughs> as you're looking around you got rats crawling up and down the ferris wheel you got rats sitting on that sofa they took over the alpha sofa they There's probably ate on it. Chico's weed and his weed has been devoured yeah, and you can see them all in the trash pit where's snooter where is snooter where is snooter we can't see snooter anywhere Oh, this is just absolutely terrible. The, the Garu Nation build something, oh. and then rats take it over. Yeah, Chica's gonna fire off a shotgun blast up into the air, and it's like, where's y'all's boss? See, they're all gonna whip their heads around, and you're gonna hear some, Hey! Hey, you back! It's gonna start moving over here, gathering all around you, and you see some of them start squaring up, and they start making themselves look bigger than they actually are. Look, here. you guys had Central Park. We didn't <laughs> give it to you, but you took it. As look at all the different rats, uh, they're all looking at each other. They're trying to find somebody that doesn't speak uh, what, well, the wild tongue. They've all been talking to each other for so long, they've been directly communing with wild spirits. They don't know how to talk proper anymore. As See, sticking his head out of the pile of tires. Ha ha! Hat rat. <laughs> He's gonna stick his head out. Oh, uh, you, uh, you, you, G Garu, not, not, not half take. Uh, care no more. No, Shit. this. Look, man. It's been a long night. You guys gotta go home. You can. Look, you don't even have to go home, but you can't stay here. No, no. Uh, Ger Garu, 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 leave go. Uh, Hang on. Park, park, go to Rat Rat. Here, and why aren't you there? As, as he's going to look over at you, uh, this, this is, is, is uh, our, ours. This belongs to, to, to Rat Kid. Matt, I'll where, take where, where, where exactly did the Garo go? Uh, Gar Garo with uh, but uh, lady of women. Wait, no, go, uh... go, go to ba basketball court field. All right, where's your boss? As are you the boss, Hat Rat? Is going to look say no, no, boss up up there. And he's gonna point to the top of the Ferris wheel. Chico's gonna look up to the top of the Ferris wheel and see if he can see who's up there. You're gonna see. We well, see his arms and his shoulders, and yep, there's that bastard rat from the morning before. You begin to see what looks like burst bruiser up there. Chico's gonna look to the rest of the party. Do you guys want to 
find the Garu first or deal with the rat infestation because I need a little bit of a rest still. You're, you've got one leg. Elmira's got no legs. I'm barely holding my guts into my stomach. Freya's probably topped out in magic. Reynard's out of willpower. And fucking uh, Grim needs a nap. We'll find the rest of the car. We'll take care of this, Tamara. All so right. As, as Donna's gonna walk over. Oh, Elmira? Oh, oh, sweetheart, your legs are missing. Are you okay? Foster mom. Hey, Miss Dawn. Foster mom. Yeah. Uh, I've been better. Oh, good, good. Uh, uh, look, uh, it's not that I didn't want to fight with you. It's that uh, Tarina said I should probably get out of there. So uh, I, I used the trash bag in my in my duffel bag to safely jump down from the crasher building. And then a tailwind picked me up and flew me all the way over here. Well, Miss Dunn, uh, rest assured that, uh, first of all, your daughter's a hero of the Gara, first of all. And second of all, um, yeah, once, once, uh, once her mage back there has gotten some rest in her, then she'll have her legs back. Oh, good, it's, uh, it's so, so good to see what you've done, Elmira, you you've become such a, such a strong Garu. I'm so happy for you, baby. Thanks, Mom. Is she? She is very pleased to see you. And she's gonna go over and try to give you a hug, but she ends up like getting you and Tyler in the same embrace. Oh, that works. <laughs> and she's also looking and uh, um, you want to happen to know how to handle the rats, would you? Give us about eight hours, and then we'll okay, and then I think we could take care of it. Right, because the. Because the, the minute, it turns out the minute we went to the crash building, they all just came out of their hiding and then immediately ran over here, and Trash Heap seems to be fine with them being here. I mean, I'm sure Trash Heap doesn't mind it, but... But, uh, yeah, I know that, that administration is going to raise hell about it. I, I know that for certain. I fucked you, man. And I hope Storm's dead. Oh, well, 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 don't say that. He's another Garu. What oh, I give a fuck. He's a bastard. Well, well, well yeah, Shallowards are, but, you no, know, somebody has to be in charge. <laughs> yeah, there was the Silver Fangs, and look where Tack got us. What's to say they'll do any fucking better? Well, well, yeah, it's, um, it, it is hard to say anything nice about the Sil Silver Fangs. Hard to say nice about anyone that actually wants fucking leadership. Anyway, the rats are here then. Maybe the Black Fury's held down the fort at, over at Coney Island West. We might have better luck there. Maybe back as the roll out the welcome out for us. Yeah, we uh, could go to Coney Island. Well, Coney Island West. We're at Coney Island East right now. Oh, okay. Because West is where the Black Fury Cairn was. Yeah. So, should we be getting the hell out of here then? Yes, before the rats start, you know, acting the fuck up. See, the the rat can the most reasonable of all of all the changing breeds. That's okay. Once we get our good rest in us and a couple extra points of gnosis back, we'll all buff up Grim, and then Grim will rip Br Burst Bruiser's arms off. Then we'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Over. As Far off in the distance, we're able to hear him. What? <laughs> I can't make out a thing he's saying, but I can hear him off in the distance. Oh. Him? Yep. Oh, no, he's probably talking yep. to somebody. Yeah, talking to somebody. All right, so, and... uh, can you let me All right, and away we go. So, um, Reynard, any thoughts about this? Um... In terms of how you feel about the Ratkin, what do you think about this? Ah. I mean, after all, Ragnar is supposed to be enigmatic. It'll be a little bit, a little bit insightful to get your thoughts. You know, I don't think he would really have any issues with Ratkin per se. Um, 
I feel no like no issues with rats. Yeah, I no, I don't think I would. I feel like I would. I would think they serve their purpose, and I think that they might. Um, in their own way, they're kind of like tricksters themselves. So I yes. think I would have a little affinity towards them. Let's see, tricksters with their own little realms inside of your television set. It's not, like I it's mean, not... they, they they act on impulse, and I think that that's kind of at the heart of of of. You're not in Poltergeist. You just got Rat King in your house. Hmm. All right. Kinda. Let me go ahead and take you over here. Behold, it's the map where it's perpetually nightfall. I have no daytime version of this. Oh, uh, you know what? That's fine. Right. Let's see. I think this song is very, very soft. Here, I can... I can it is very, very it. soft. Oh, hey, what's his name is here? Uh, in fact, it's so soft, it's not even playing. Yes. That video think, file fucked up. I think you need the other bot. <laughs> All right. So as you step in here and... Yep... It seems that all the Bonars have gone over to this cairn, while the other one is currently being occupied by all the damn rats. We have a bit of a refugee crisis on our hands. Ah, oh, we take care of it. So, looking around. Uh, the map is yours. Who are we going to speak to about this first? Uh, first things first, I need a theurge who has some gnosis on her for, for, uh, Mrs. Moira. Let's see. Alright. Just you're looking around, and yep, we got a theurge. Supreme. Oi, Supreme, you busy. Let's see. As he's gonna turn his head to look at you, he's gonna say, oh, Man, did you, did you see what's over there with the the fucking rats? You see that man? Yeah, don't worry. Another day we'll have it taken we'll care of. Rat. Right now, we need a rest up. We're a little extra aware. We're talking about Felix about it. We said, man, you gotta, you gotta put your foot down about this. We can't just have rats come in here and take our space, but he says, now nah, we gotta leave the rats alone. <laughs> to hell with that. I mean, that's that, your that, can. That, I mean, that's what he says. Now, now he says... He he's saying that with with all this warfare going on, it'll be it'll make more sense for all of us to be in in one spot at one time. Th those are his War. words. I, I don't agree with anything he says, but you know this the litany the the leader can't be questioned in times of war. That's what it says. Well, tell him that his war is almost fucking over because Mike is dead. And. You're a bit of a, bzz, bzz, a buzzing behind you before zoop come out of the landlines. What the fuck is that? As he's going to jump out, he's going to say, Excuse you, I'm not done yet. Ragnar's still alive. Ugh. Wait. Uh, they got kicking his ass for what he did in Vegas. Oh, yo, yo, oh no. We got Vigo Corinth and Ragnar Link in custody. In custody? How the fuck do you manage that? Yeah. We got the, we got their coffins buried beneath the court. What? We... You see, Karis led them over to his hotel, where they went into day sleep. After that, we scooped them up, put them in caskets, and now we've moved them over here. It's stone, no sunlight can get into it. And uh, Karis is going to walk over. Bacchus doesn't want to kill them yet. He wants to keep them alive for some reason. Well, I mean, mm. that was his plan from the start. What it is, I'm still far beyond me. So, out of all the vampires from the original Las Vegas incident, Ragnar Ling and Vigor Corinth are the only two that are still alive. There is the case of Sylvester Shrek, but... Even though we never could confirm his kill, he's no th sincere threat. Right, so do we actually get to talk to the big man about what he's going to do with him? If you wish to speak to Bacchus, he is beneath the cairn. Right, is there any chance you could spare some legs for, for, for Elmire here? 
Oh, she needs to be healed. Here, fucking look at her. Uh, be I carrying her like a book bag. Hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, for somebody who's been... She's doing good not to scream, missing both of her legs. Uh, I figure my regeneration has kicked in a little bit. Yeah, because by this point, you begin to see the, uh, the, the fleshy pulsating mass begin to form beneath... Um, where, where her pants got bitten off by the Beast of War. It's begin, slowly beginning to grow back. Yeah, it is a fucking head of a fight. As Karis is going to look. <sighs> this has been an incredibly busy day in the history of the Guru Nation. But it should be coming to a close soon enough. Can't... Can't wait to figure out what's going to happen to New York. I mean, the the masked great and veil have almost been shattered, and with another with this city lost, you know what's going to happen to the United States. I don't think there's really much of a United States anymore. Not anymore. Land's gone back to where it was when the thirteen colonies formed solid wall starting at Appalachia and moving all the way over to the Atlantic Ocean. It only goes as far south as the very northern parts of Florida. They've even lost Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire. You've seen who's occupying that place right now? The Chinese Army. The ah. fucking Chinese Army? How the fuck did they get all the way over there? They already had that land. They were using it to grow marijuana and selling it to people of New Hampshire. That is wild. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Chica's gonna look at. Is any of this confirmed? Free real estate. <laughs> I mean, after all, you can just buy the land off the worm, and the worm will sell it to you. It's not his fucking land, now, is it? It's not. Of course, it got stolen from the Ictena and the Wendigo, but I can't speak for either of them. Well, fuck it. If we clean up here, why don't we head up there and get in, you know, steal it back? That'd be fun. You wish to go over and fight the the Chinese army occupying Maine? Ah, oh, give me a drink of smoke, a good night's rest after we kick the rat king out of Coney Island East. Yeah, I could go for a road trip. Right, and... The complete collapse of the United States. We have to figure out what exactly we're going to do next. I like the idea of killing every time I look. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, she is gonna walk back. Isn't this kind of like you know the Red Talon's dream scenario? An entire thing has basically been reclaimed, not by anyone anymore. There's a power vacuum. We can. Not we should take charge, but we can That's at it. least rebuild it to something that wasn't what it was. That was the mixed blessing that came with Malkav and the the Libertarian Army. He his his warband were clearing out places of the Worm and the Weaver. I mean, you you've, did you read any of the reports? Ruslan Maximov was going in by himself and fighting off entire armies of Fomori. That's fucking so, grand shit. We should have kept around more often. He did leave a lot of space for us to occupy. So the, the, the issue is trying to figure out what to do first because the, the Silver Fangs the, the Silver Fangs that still have authority are thinking about moving northwards. They're thinking about going over into Canada and trying to see if they can get the allegiance and assistance of the Wendigo and then moving across the states like Ohio, Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. The Wendigo. You couldn't get to us up, but he bastards out of their land with a jackhammer and a baco. They... they f they might be able to convince them because the the, the Great Lakes are in the next to those states. Yeah, they're willing to try. After all, that's a lot of polluted lump water that needs to be reclaimed and purified. Oh. <clears throat> as for the United States, as for New York City, 
uh, as much as I hate to think about it, I think the rats might have. Now, when you cut out for a sec. God damn it, did my internet fuck itself again? rather not see the city fall under rat king control i will never agree with the administration except on this one matter we are not letting them rule new york well it's i i don't mean to be presumptuous but do you have any any plans on how to stop the rat king we go up to the biggest one and we beat the fuck out of them He's sitting on at the Ferris wheel in Coney Island. Do you think he can pull that off? <laughs> Look, between all of us, we kicked Malcab's ass. I mean, he's just a single rat kid. Well, yeah, but he's going to challenge yeah. in single combat. Remember? Oh, yeah. Remember what he did to, uh, what's his face? Why are we going to play by his rules if we just kick his ass hard enough? I'm sure the rats will respect it either way. Well, because well, uh, if we join in, he gets to pick, you know, a bunch more of his favorites, and then they're going to cheat too. Well, regardless, if you were, to, if you uh, were to fight him honorably, it would keep all of his other rats out out of the fight. There's, there were what. 20 million rats or something like that in New York City. Yeah. Kill the biggest one. You're the Lord of the Rats then. You have that many foot soldiers that are living until their 90s. Uh, like I said, let Graham have a nap and he'll be up to do it tomorrow. I'd be oh. willing to fight him. I have an idea of what I could do, but I mean, it's less of a gentleman's duel when one guy has a gun. Raynar, do you have a thought? I can see it. Oh, I was just thinking that at this point the biggest rat in New York is probably the size of an elephant. <laughs> uh, with all the with all the, the mutagens in your sewer system that's corrupting and transforming the rats. I mean, yeah. to be fair, Coney Island just looked like Coney Island. <laughs> yep. And after all, Raynard and uh, Jaden is right there. Oh yeah, there he is, skulking uh, off to the side. I forgot he was there. Yeah. That's right. Well, there's your, there's your partner. It seems he's flown all the way down here. Yeah. I wonder. Why do you want? Is there maybe some sort of way to strike a deal with the rats? Strike a deal with the with the rats. I, I think the administration is going to. They'd rather fall on their own swords before they make out a deal with the rats. But what were you thinking? Give them a small piece of land. Say that we will honor their their borders as if they are honor ours, and in return. We provide protection. So while we go district by district, they take Manhattan, we take Staten Island, something like that. Well, Where the problem that... with the rats is a problem of breeding. They breed. A lot. Maybe... Wait. As large as See if they'll become. curtail that a little bit. Huh. So you you wish to approach the the rat kid with logic is what you want. No, not logic. I say we trick them <laughs> and right. offer them a deal that's obviously in our benefit. I mean, who do you now, think I am? <laughs> you are a ragabesh. So, the deal in question. Well, our our hack mother is behind us, Kapeka, and she's currently sitting with Shaparo from the from Coney Island. If you I'm, if you wish to run I mean, this by you, them, if you ask me, it doesn't hurt to try. Because if worst comes to worst, negotiations fail. But we could always have Chico fight the elephant rat. 
Chi is Chico your alpha? I am not the no, alpha. Our alpha is sleeping. <laughs> as, as you're looking over and Grim is just already on the floor, laying on his chest, passed out. So as, as Freya's going to do a double take and look over at Grim before quickly rushing over to his side, getting down, trying to scoop up a nine foot tall beefcake werewolf the best she can. That's adorable. Anyway. <laughs> no one helps. No one's trying to help her. <laughs> just just, nope. just oh. watching this, this <laughs> struggle. <laughs> Fair be it for me to tell you what to do with your boyfriend, but I think it's best to let sleeping dogs lie. Literally. Yeah, I think I might be... I, I might be liable to throw my back out. <sighs> If the rats are wandering around everywhere, I might need to go to to the North Pole and get my drugs before they get their hands on them. Well, we can, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably a safe bit. To brave the streets. Um, Elmira Chichiata Scottle is still here. Uh, yes. I wave at him. As he's going to look over, and without another word, oh, he's got his guns out. They're already assembled. He's going to walk over. He's got his uh, MG and he's got his grenade launcher. He just walks over here. Good fucking lord, that's some armament. Yeah, <laughs> I was hoping he would help us out in the, the Chrysler building, but uh, I guess that didn't work out. I mean... It would have been nice up. to have around, but now that we got a bunch of rock, and I mean, he'd be great for crowd control and all that. And he's going to look over, and he's going to lean his head to the side. Ratas? Oh yeah, none of us fucking speak Portuguese, do we? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. How did you get I mean, a hold of him? I speak like you... a dozen words, but that's that's about it. Yeah, how did you get a hold of him if you can if you can barely speak the same language as him? And he's he's going to look over. He's looking pretty confused. Oh, que voce que que el faca? I should have taken two tongues. <laughs> Is Chico with uh, your Spanish knowledge, you're able to make out some words, but not all of them. Yeah, it's like every <laughs> fifth word. You heard like what might have been the Spanish word for what mixed in with that? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's so, gonna happen. He, he would he would be good for fighting rats, but he is a given cat. That he's coming in with yeah, coming in with all these guns. We, we get the cat to eat the rat. It'd be kind of funny. It would be. <laughs> Chico is open to the deal, though, giving them, like, essentially where, uh, oh, I forgot his name, or uh, Grisha blew up half the city. Like, there's no rebuilding it, I don't think. <laughs> you get the Ratkin, all the different engineers with them to start building some massive hive within the, within the crater. Essentially, like <laughs> I get a little city. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, um, somebody. Yep, there you are at my door frame. Um, uh, Kyle, we're watching Theo again. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. Yep. Yep. Uh, his name is short for theologian. All right, so All right. we're dressed up, fight to rock in, uh, profit here. All right, we should probably put um, Almira down. Uh, does she have her legs back yet? She's got the stubs. She's got half of them. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have the any Oscar Pretorius uh, prosthetics hanging around, would you? Well, no, but we do have a fucking totem downstairs. You could probably grow her legs back faster. You guys want to go see Bacchus? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably it'd probably be good to ask him what he plans to do with the vampires as well. See. All right. 
Who wants to step sideways? I will. Yeah, Chico will too. All right. Yeah. Uh, um. No sis. Uh, difficulty. See, difficulty, you're in the middle of a cairn right now, so five. You're doing wonderfully. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be stepping sideways in that case. All right. All right, all right, all right. Taking you in. And let's see here. I've copied over a few too many tokens. Let me delete some of these. Hit the road, Jack. You're not part of this scene. <laughs> all right. Good old electric Jack. All right. So, as you are stepping over, you step sideways. You go into his little door. I see Oz the Pegasus is still there. <laughs> Elmira, you've returned safe and alive. Mostly. <laughs> Bacchus is downstairs. Cool. All right. As you step through the door, uh, who goes first? Uh, I will let the people who don't have to carry anybody go down first. All right. Uh, so, Chico, would that be you in that case? Because we all know Renard ain't going first. <clears throat> nope. All right. As Chico, as you're going to step th through, um, you immediately step forward and enter a free fall. As in... Uh, it seems that Bacchus forgot to put the floor in his little <laughs> in his little domain that he's made under, underneath the cairn. As I believe I believe you're currently muted. Mm. And sorry about and, that. And here we go. See now hopefully this works. Yeah, there we go. There's the music. Splash! A little loud, Kyle. We might need to turn that down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me get it. Yeah. yeah it's like not terribly loud on my good. end. I'm at 35. percent All right. Turn it down to 30. All right. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. As behold, Chico, you are currently up to your chest in water. What the hell? As you see, Bacchus is currently laying on on his back, just floating in the water. He's going to turn. He's going to look at you. Oh, hello there, Chico. I was so good to see you. Uh, is, is the rest of your pack with you? Yeah, they should be here. Where's... Chico's kind of looked around where the rest of his pack went. It's now this time you hear a splash behind you as Tyler and Elmira fall into the realm. <laughs> I, I think you forgot to put the floor in, mate. <laughs> I just wanted to go for a swim, all right? Just The pool I have is good. It, it's a really good pool. It really ties the realm together. But I just need a little bit more. I, I want to have a really good swim, get some exercise in. I, I like to do freestyles and a backstroke, the side stroke. Just get just get my cardio in, you understand? Uh, yeah. I like cardio. You know I like cardio. A, Ra a Reinhardt falls into the room. Is as you push yourself up. Ah, great. The trick, uh, the trickster got tricked. Hmm. How amusing. As you're looking, yes, a little reflection in the water. There is a fake moon hanging in the sky. What is this, your sense for deprivation, Timber? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 good. I had a really good time here. Um, been drinking a lot of alcohol as usual. I, I got this with me, and he's gonna pull up um this solid brick of crack in his hand. Of crack? Yeah, crack. Matt, you're See, a demigod. It, Can't you get something better, like just uncut cocaine from Colombia? Oh yeah, you're, you're supposed to eat this. As he's just gonna slide the brick into his mouth. 
I don't have what enough you... resist points in medicine to resist that much toxin. Is it... Yeah, just just take it like that. Oh, it it makes it makes me think because my brain really clicking. I can already feel all the all the gears working in my head. I've got a lot to think about, you know. It's just just a lot on my mind. There's a lot oh. of stuff. Would Chico know if that's being a very synthetic drug is uh of the worm? Let's see, it is of the weaver more than anything else because it's human advancement. Hmm. I didn't know you did crack there, Bacchus. So, so yeah, you you know, with a lot of food, I live in America, and it's just impossible to eat healthy over here. But no, you don't need to eat healthy all the time. You need to expose your body to all the the bad stuff and all the chemicals. It builds resistance to it. You you understand? You you begin to resist it. You you start getting uh, healthier by eating shit. You know. Uh, um. That crack have you had? Just, just a question. See, I've had. Oh, I've, I've just got like a bag of potato chips under my under my arm. You know, the term nose candy is only it's only a nickname. You're not supposed to eat it like candy. Yeah, yeah it doesn't have much of a flavor either. It tastes like a meeting uh, laundry soap. It, but okay, never mind. Um. Since your brain's working, is your magic still working? Imagine it. See. See. Oh, oh yeah, um, Amara, just stand up. Uh, I try to stand up. Uh, as you've been submerged in the water, you just immediately stand and your wounds have been healed. Groovy. Same with you, Chico. Oh, hey! And I uh, no longer have, neg have a negative two wound penalty, I hope? Yep. yep, if you have a wound penalty, get rid of it. Oh, that is fucking miles better. That was just gonna lay back and float. Okay, yeah, I'm right, with so you. Good. This is great. All right, good, good. Everyone's happy. Every everyone's really good. All right, I did need to ask you. So, two questions first, right? So, Tarot can have taken over Coney Island East. I imagine we're gonna take care of that soon. Yeah, yeah, we got all these rats in here. New York has already had a lot of rats in it, and now we got all the rat kin are coming out because there's no threat of the veil being breached anymore because because so many people are dead and have to leave the city. So it looks like the rats are going to try to take over, you know. Well, at least we know where the big one is. And and a lot of guys from Yale died in the fight. So it, the, the glass workers aren't going to try to do anything because because they're dead, and they're just going to upload their brains to their robot bodies, and the vampires are gone, and it looks like the only people that can really rule this are either the Fianna, which would be fine, but I'd rather just um, you know, go back to the to the Bonars and to the Black Furies. You know, I I, I would really like it. I'd really like it if my girls took over. Well, you're See. in charge of you mind that. Well, well, yeah, but I don't want to throw my girls in any sort of peril. Uh, I saw the rats. I saw the rats over there. I didn't tell Karis and everyone to go after them. Because, you know, they might die. But all the rats together in one place like that. No, no but we gotta play the long game. We gotta, we gotta wait for the rats to slip up. We gotta make them think that they control us. And then you surprise them, you know. Well, I mean, what if we Reynard got... smiles. Yeah. No, I was going to say, Reynard <laughs> just smiles real wide, realizing that uh, this was Bacchus's plan all along. And and game recognized game, that his whole <laughs> point was to be giving New York to the Black Fairies. <laughs> <laughs> um, he also wanted to just kind of... Speaking of vamps, what are you doing with those two that you've taken? I know you yeah. have a plan for them. Right, so, so what's going to happen is that we're currently exercising Vigo. We're going to get the worm out of him. We're going to put the wild in him instead. Oh, that's interesting. He sure <laughs> does a good be... idea. He's already a bit of a wild card. And he's going to be like, like the first wild vampire, you know? It's going to be crazy. Don't they oh, got a kind of that already? Like... 
Well, well, yeah, we've got a few. You got like a like like the gang rule. They they're a little wild, but but not as wild as as I want to make Chico. And well, well, Chico, we can make you a little wild too. I'll see about Vigo. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, so are you planning on using him as a weapon or? Oh, well, well, yeah, and he says he got, he's got his three little angels that follow him, and they're, they're like a control group. You see, I'm like a, I'm like a scientist right now. I'm, I'm like doing all this science stuff, and I'm, I'm like a, like a sexy badass genius right now with this Vigo plan, and I've got all these different things that I want to try with Vigo, and he's got his three followers. We're gonna try that too. And then with Ragnar, I don't know if I want it to be a wild spirit or not. I think I might want it to be a Kami. A what? Uh, it has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with the Shadow Lords. You know, the, the Gaian spirits. Oh, I mean, that didn't sound too bad. Speaking of, any idea what happened to, uh, to Freddie Mason? I'm some of the folks at, uh, at Rip Van Winkle are a bit concerned about him. And his bad. Oh, oh yeah, he's, he's been eaten. He fucking what? He, he's been eaten. It... So, so what, so what happened? What happened is that Ragnar drank, uh, drank him. And he drank all his blood and his soul, and now he's inside Ragnar. Well, can, can we fucking get him out? Well, I, I can't do anything about that besides reincarnating him, and he can be he, he can be a wine spirit, or he can be a nature spirit, or like a wind spirit. I mean, a guy did rock and roll having a, be, being a wind spirit just sounds really smart, right? Let, let's make him a spirit. That sounds like a better idea. Let's make him a spirit. Um, I mean, what about the rest of his band? Where are they at? They're probably still out there, aren't they? See, See, well, the rest of the band, well, why don't you be the band member? What do you mean? You like music, don't you? Well, you're my fiana. See, so, you, you already look a little mad, you know? You look a little crazy. Did you forget what auspice you were? You're about that bit of a long story. All right, so so thank you for telling me the long story. So you got cursed again. Yeah, yeah they're unavoidable at this point. I have to be the unluckiest Fiona in history, I swear. Yeah, t Tyler, why do you keep talking to the fairies when they keep doing this? Look, because I'm getting a family until now. Is it, well, why don't you make a family with her? As it, he's going to point over at Elmira. Mate, I'm a fucking fit. Mate, I'm a fucking mess. It's a kind of bear pups. Yeah. And come to think about it, you're, you're all menace except for her. Well, of, of course, I. Well, if you can't do it, I can do it. Tyler raises an eyebrow and looks over at Elmira. Uh, Elmira shrugs. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably be a lousy father given, well, didn't really have much one. I had Oisin, but he was a bastard. See, well, well, you know, just just do everything that he did, but the opposite. Oh, is it that easy? Fuck, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta do that. And you'd be a great dad, you'd be a great band leader. And you've got so much stuff you can do. I mean, you've already been cursed with Moon Madness. I guess I could just do it again, but make you think you're a galliard instead. I should probably learn how to sing then, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, give, give me a G sharp. Let me see what that sounds like. Give me a sec. Um, uh, my guitar's all the way the fuck over there. No, uh, no, not with the guitar. With singing. No, I'm just saying it's over there. Oh, I see. You're, you're, you're a contrabass, okay? Well, with a little bit of training, we can get you into a tenor. We can get you sound like Steven Tyler. Oh, sure, I could do that. And I mean, even if I only have, like, two in performance, I've got four in charisma. So, at the very least, I'll have the stage <laughs> presence. Now, 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 you, now, you two are going to be, uh... You know, what were we talking about? We are talking about rats, right? Let's talk about rats again. 
Okay, so apparently I'm getting the spirit of a rock star implanted in my main in my mind. And it might be being a dad soon. And now we gotta kill so rats. And, and and Reynard, it looks like you it looks like you, you guessed the price was right and the price is right. And that's a big smile you got. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. yeah. See, that's either you've either came to a to an epiphany or you've got a big evilish scheme planned. Oh no, no, nothing, nothing evil. I guess I just uh, respect the work you've been doing. Oh, but my, my thank you. It 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 takes a lot of work to be to be a Cairn totem and just a totem in general, you know. Yes, yes. It's good to set goals for oneself, though. And, and, and Chico, how are you doing? Well, now that I got my leg back, uh, tons better. So when the Black Furies sort of have the run in New York, what's where are the Bonars going to fit into this? So, oh, the Bonars always get to be a part of it. And the Black Furies and Bonars like each other. You, you get to be a part of it. As long as there's a place for my people here, that's all that matters to me. I mean, yeah, it's 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 always good to have Bonars around, and the the Bonars don't exactly like leadership. I mean, it's uh, it's like having a uh, only one member of Hala Notes. It just doesn't work with the Bonars by themselves. It really does not. And and look at everything. So, uh. It looks like the rats are probably going to fight administration, and then they're just going to fight each other, and then we'll just have to wait and see how we're going to fix this. Yeah, no administration, no more Shadow Lords, no more Lois, bunch of Black Furies and Bonors running around everywhere. I like this plan every- I like this plan more every minute. Though I, though I do hope the Children of Gaia are okay, the, the Prince Bay Pirates, I hope they're doing good. I forgot they fucking exist. Well, but they don't really do anything. They just they just smoke marijuana and have sex all day, and that's it. I mean, tell I mean, worse things. I mean, do. granted, I do the same thing, but I do it for <laughs> um, religious reasons. I mean, you know, you'll get along then. Uh, speaking about, I have a I have a tongue. And two hands are currently unoccupied. Who wants a piece first? Uh, you might want you might want them to not have to watch. See. He's gonna point <laughs> it at uh, Chico and 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 Reynard for their sake. Yeah, Chico's gonna give a top hat. Like, no, I'm like, I'll leave y'all to it. <laughs> just kind of just kind of roll my eyes and go. Ugh. Chico, do come to me sometime about the beard. If, if we, we, we could do like this big makeover with you. We could do your nails, your hands and feet. Uh, get some pomade in that beard and in your hair. You'd clean up so nicely. You look so handsome. Chico's gonna lie. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this will always be my style. He doesn't want See, fuck. We, He's a dapper Dan man. Oh, we, we can always play dress up some other time. He's always like, I look forward to that time, Bacchus, but for now, I I need a rest. See, as, as Reynard, you're, you're going to follow him? <laughs> yeah, I'll follow him. Before I, before I leave, I'm just going to say to, to Bacchus, I, I just can't help but feel there's some loose ends that we're overlooking. Oh, well, well what's your concern? What, what, what's, what seems to be your boggle? I don't know. Such a major shift in power dynamics. Some want sometimes have unforeseen consequences. Well, and yeah, change can be scary sometimes when you don't have a plan to change back. But it's it's gonna be fine. I got it all worked out. It's gonna it's all gonna be fine. Oh no, I'm I'm all for the for the change. And, and to be frank, I'm I'm all for whatever ridiculous consequences come of the change. It's more like, I think you are planning, and planning in the face of change is sometimes a fool's errand. 
you know, you gotta keep it loose sometimes. I mean, if I think too much, I get a little constricted. You get a little restrictive. And I, I, I like just to keep it loose, you know? Just, just, just loose. Okay. Oh, also, um, is that, is Freya with you? Oh. I don't think she came with us. Yeah, she's upstairs. She's resting with Krim. Uh, I, okay, uh, call her down here. She, um, I've been waiting for her. Okay, we can try. She's her own person, but I'm sure she'll come by. See, oh, oh let, let her know it's me calling. She'll, she'll, she'll definitely want to be a, a piece of it. Keep calling on, like, I'll get the message to her. <laughs> as Chico and Raynard do quickly exit it, as we 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 know what Elmira and uh, Tyler are about to do. Eh, it'll as be what you, it'll be. As you quickly pull yourselves out. <laughs> yep. In terms of what Freya's doing, I uh, see Chichiana Scuttle was strong enough to pull Grim off to the side. And he is out, out, out when you look at him. There is no waking that guy and risk, not for a while. Let's see. And you can all see the basketball court, right? Yes. Yep, yep. And uh and the audience can see our basketball court now splash screen, right? Yes, that is true. All right. And while we are all here, uh Chico and Renard. Well there's Freya. The Bacchus wants to see you, Freya. She's gonna look up. Oh, what does he want? I don't know. She he just said he wants to talk to you about something. She's gonna look. She's gonna look back over at Grim. She's gonna look back over at you, Chico. Uh you make sure my man's okay. Oh well oh he's currently with uh Elvira and uh Tyler, just just a heads up. Oh, we're oh, we're doing this in a group, okay? <laughs> Apparently. Don't do that one grips <laughs> away, you bastard. <laughs> oh. See, is is Tyler and Elmira? Uh, you're both in currently in the mask that is back us, and then Tyler, you pick your head up and you see, uh, Freya's in it now. Grim's gonna fucking kill me. Oh, she's gonna look at you. Well, well, what's the issue? Alright, I'm keeping my fucking knife shut. <laughs> See. So, while that's going on, uh, both Tyler and um, Elmira, you roll stamina. Just straight stamina. Alright. See. That is and straight stamina. I don't think I get anything from. Straight oh, stamina. I do get more from. I do get more from Krynos form. Cool. <laughs> uh, what form would it make sense to be in? Krynos. Uh, well, which form would you be in for Bacchus? Probably Hamid. Oh, really? All right, Hamid? So roll it as if you were Hamid. Oh, we don't like roll. All right. No, all right, <laughs> Hamid, it is. That's cool. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I will never ever bomb this roll ever. Yep. You're you're now fi you're finally being able to keep up with Bacchus, but once again, we know what he's the god of. He's always going to outpace you. Yep. So, as for Reynard and Chico, see, uh. The Virgin Wolves, where are you two up to? Chico's going to go over to the current lead of Coney Island West, or the Bonar uh, leader over here, and just ask if he knows if one, what he thinks about like the current rat situation, and two, just flat out ask, like, when they leave, we're taking it back, right? As Felix is going to look at you. Ah, uh, Chico, get, get the seal. Uh, 
so worried you might have died, man. No, no, bad weed never dies. Ah, good to see you. you. You want a piece of this too? This is this is really strong. It's a little, might, might be just a little too strong. It causes the you know the weak, the weak-minded uh, a little bit of psychosis. But it's very good, very good weed, man. Cuban soil. Yeah, Chico will have some after all that. So, these rats. Yeah, those rats. Do you... Did we ever figure out how they got the bodies of the bone gnars? Well, we're still doing an investigation. Now, what we, what we think might have happened is that these guys, they probably used the, the umbra, and they snuck into that, and they grabbed the bodies and then dipped. As for, as for what they what they did with the bodies, man, I don't know. I haven't answered any questions. Hmm. Hmm. Good to know. And he kind of looks back. Do you know if I'm still being looked into by administration after all of this? No, well, man. The the administration's admins looking at all of us. I mean, you got boss man tripping out, and. Dude, it's your own fault. You don't want the rat to grow into this size? You should have looked after it, man. Yep. That I agree with. Yeah, it's come back, it's gone to the cover. <laughs> and Shadow Lords want to talk such a big game all the time, but when it comes to delivering, they always fall just a little bit short, right? I liked it more when the Silver Fangs were in charge. I mean, Jacob Morningkill was a bastard, but things did get accomplished under his rulership. Eh. Either way, I'm still not a fan no matter who's leading it. Well, what's the issue with the rats? Well, they have entire Coney Island West right now. They got West, they got Central Park, it's up to the green, it's this. Well, I don't... Is there a Central Park still? There is, except the green. Even after what Grisha did? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Central Park is in Manhattan, of course. Yep. Chica's so, just like, oh. I think before it's all said and done, they're going to get what that big, uh... Big dragon guy to our uh, gave us. A bunch of land that needs something that can't... Really... Destroy it in any way, or make it its own. Yeah. Oh, you, you saw that, that giant bomb man? Scary. I did. Hmm. Good thing he's dead, man. About that, has anyone seen where Wendigo went after he did that? A Wendigo here? I thought they were all in Mohawk Valley minding their own business. No, no, not the the spirit incarnate. He showed up at some point. I saw him. Ah. Yes, he came here and he summoned his snowstorm. I watched it freeze a few ghouls in the street. Oh, surprisingly, not a single drop of snow landed on the court. As Chico, yeah, she's right. There is no snow whatsoever on the basket basketball court. Oh, huh. Seems that he was very kind to miss us. It's fact, it's not that cold either. It's very cold with the snow, but not here. It's just, it's it's pleasant. It's a nice, a nice November morning. And Terrence, and Chico's just gonna look over and it's like, you know, my man, I'm just gonna lay down for just a second and just go into the center of the field and just, like, starfish out on the pavement. <laughs> it's look up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chico, there's the sun. It's been a while since you've seen that. <laughs> just, mm. this is nice. Reinhard, what's going through your brain? 
Uh, got a lot of thoughts. Yeah, not mm, probably yeah. trying to think about how to lie to everyone about why Loki appeared to me. You should probably explain to Chico why exactly you're supposed to be. <clears throat> I mean, after all, he was very puzzled. <laughs> I'm yeah. Curious. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna offer the information up if Chico asks. I will have to <laughs> lie profusely. I mean, I mean, tell him what happened. Chico <laughs> looks over at some part, probably laying on the ground. Okay, so are you Loki or not? As you like walk by, so other people can't really hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so I almost forgot I had this ability. <laughs> um, I forgot that I had that ability that makes me telling the truth seem like a lie to someone else. Oh, uh, now, now we know why space. that comes in handy. It comes in so much handy. I've already used it like three times. <laughs> yup. Um, liar's face. It is a roll willpower. Uh, spendable power and roll charisma subterfuge difficulty seven. All right, give us the roll. The great anticipation. Hey, two. Right. Think about that. So two with Lara's face. Yes, is now very difficult to tell. If any of this information Rainer is telling you is true or not. Well, no, he should theoretically believe that I'm telling a lie, right. even though I'm telling him the truth. That's <laughs> it. But I, think, but, but I think Chico might be aware of this gift by this point. <laughs> right, but at the same time, you probably have no idea whether or not Rainer is lying or tell the truth, and you might just assume he's lying to begin with. Like right, that yeah. might be the baseline you're working off of. Alright, let's see let's see, Chico. How much are you going to believe Reynard? Reynard, you may begin. So I'm I'm pretty much just going to tell him um the truth. I I'm not I'm not actually Logi. He and I have an agreement. I become his avatar on occasion. Um our goals align. And for the most part, we work in the interest of all Garrow, giving them what they want, no, more what they need, good and hard. How old are you? I don't remember. I'm, I'm just the normal age. Show us your birth certificate. Yeah. License and registration, please. Yes. I don't know if I ever even wrote it down anywhere. Show us your uh, recently filled W-2 forms. Probably somewhere in my 30s, maybe. 20s, 30s. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. Sounds legit, right? <laughs> yeah, and she goes going to be like, huh. Well... If that's actually what happened, I believe you, or you might actually be Loki, either or. <laughs> and I feel like there's some utility for people thinking that I'm actually Loki. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, remember, you were demented. <clears throat> that's also true. Yeah. President Reynard. Delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Right. That actually fits in my dimension. I forgot about that. I am the savior. <laughs> or rather, I, I prefer you believe I am. Yes. And as you are thinking about your new Messiah complex, see, uh, Tyler and Elmira, you both crawl out of the Umbra. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Oof. I am low on, uh, uh, actually I'm not really low on rage, but I'm low on gnosis and willpower. As am I. Well, I am stay out the, on both. Just stay in the cairn. Just stay yeah. in the cairn and it regenerates. Okay. 
So I was thinking that playing with Bacchus would probably help out with that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is oh, we gotta ask Tyler, are you still carrying that pack of cigarettes? Uh, no. Remember, I sold it to the rats, or not the rats, uh, the raccoon. I probably fuck. borrowed some of Bacchus's. Yes. Yeah. As well, maybe Chico's got something smokable. Oh, there's plenty <laughs> of bonors around. Give me a minute. Oh, that you got to talk there. As the man in question is going to turn around. Hmm? You said something about a cigarette. You're a goat on you got one on you. As you're looking right at Ken Parrish. Is it, man? See. There he is. He's going to look over. Hmm. Here, you, you can have some of these. He's just going to hand you, he's going to hand you a pack of cool. Ah, oh, that's fine. He's just going to take, uh, he's going to take one for himself. He'll share it with Elmira. And it's I know I don't have, what's up? That will never wash out of your clothes when you smoke it. No, my my grandfather used to smoke like two packs of those a day for like twenty years. And you and you know the smell by this point. Yes, um, it, honestly, they're not the worst smelling cigarettes. They're much much worse. Th that'll be horrible. <laughs> yes. No, nah, Viceroy. Vice Viceroy Vice is is one step below palm all dude <laughs> they're not cheap like palm all palm all's cheaper yeah but viceroy is like the old ladyish of old lady cigarettes my aunt used to smoke and i used to steal them back when i used to smoke <laughs> good <laughs> lord yeah my uh for uh one of the one of the harsh uh, too one of my sister's friends in the um in my storm king's thunder game smokes american spirits and they're they're kind of rough yeah, yeah, I've smoked American Spirits before, and and they're not as they're not they're not as bad as Viceroy's. Fair, but yeah, um, I don't have any gnosis left. Can I say for flavor text, I can get just a little bit enough from being in the cairn to like to like use my thumb as a lighter. Dude. Yes, may go ahead. You may do the epic Bioshock reference. I'm sorry, it. Uh... My 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 secret fetish is being is people with pyromancy being able to use it to light cigarettes. I think it's awesome. Yes, there you go. Uh, you, got, you got that whole scene from Bur Burial at Sea. Cheers, Matt. He's gonna walk over Almost... past Elmira. Past Elmira, the smoke. Is that a gif? Is there? Yes, there is. Uh, yeah, it's Elmira's not. Technically, create. Kind of look at the smoke. And... What? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to kind of look at the smoke and then shrug and, and take a, a puff and then immediately start coughing. So I was going to pat her on the back. I thought you smoked after sex, you said. Uh, I, I think that's one of those things I say to say, but I don't actually do. <laughs> right, good What kind of emo kid doesn't smoke? Let me guess. Oh. Let, me, let me guess. All, all my art just does the Zen pouches, and that's it. Well, no, I think given she hangs out with this one over here, uh, Elmira might prefer to live green. I might, might use uh, pencil shavings instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll probably. She probably smokes marijuana from time to time. I, I think about it. So. Uh... Probably a cigarette would probably not cause her much trauma as far as coughing. Yep. As upon you seeing seeing you do that, um, Freya, who's uh, she was able to handle Bacchus the best out of all of us. She looks over. Oh, oh, we're doing uh, we're doing drugs now. Okay, uh, hang on. I know. She's gonna reach into I her, uh, literally borrowed a cigarette from a man, and all of a sudden you're talking about oh, we got to do some heroin now, I guess. No, no, it's the stickers. <laughs> oh, good lord, not again. And she's stickers? gonna pull up the, Yeah, she's gonna pull up the blue star st stickers again. Look, I've already been banned from one cairn once. I don't need to be banned from... I don't need to be banned from this cairn. But this cairn is the back end tees. They're all about sex. What's, right, what's the blue stars for? Those are LSD. Oh. Well, that doesn't necessarily lead to sex. Well, yeah, no, she's... but I'm saying if I get 
fucked up and act a fool around there. She's, uh, in the middle of you talking, she's immediately going to take one of the stickers and put on her tongue. That should be fine. And she's already got one peeled and she's offering it to you, Tyler. <sighs> Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Elmira, you take a sticker? Um, now I think Freya is probably somebody that Elmira used to fuck on occasion, or, or at yeah. least for a, yeah. a period of time. Uh, so has she done LSD with uh, yeah. Freya before? That's how you yeah, get you the had a great of Ruslan. Yeah, you went to the, you went to the, the the North Pole with her several times, and get over there, see the the she males on the pole. You end up developing a weird thing for men wearing lingerie that was a size too small. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> this is this is this is one of the episodes of Johnny gaslighting the cast. You see. Um, Elmira dabs one big drop of sweat off her forehead. Uh, okay, I, I guess we're, we're doing LSD then. <laughs> Alright, she's going to hand you the sticker. <laughs> what, what, what was that picture you posted before? I don't think that happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, hang on. Where is it? I, I had it here. It was the fucking... It was the flork thing. Oh, yeah, it was up here. Yeah. It was this one right here. <laughs> I, this is me whenever whenever Johnny makes up some bullshit it's just this <laughs> well Chico they're doing the stickers without you Chico's good after the one never again <laughs> at least so she, didn't, didn't come she just down. didn't give us the blue drank thank god about that yeah, that blue drink was something yeah. Tyler was hiding under the table, screaming, make it stop. <laughs> and, uh, Reinhardt, do you wish to partake, partake in a sticker? Sure. <laughs> oh, see, I was hoping we don't go out, we'd have a pint, we'd have a laugh about the fact that we just lived through that. No, we're all gonna sit here in a basketball cart and do fucking LSD. Um, Reinhardt is way more of a, a DMT LSD kind of guy. He wants to go on a spirit journey. <laughs> it's all healthy. It's all natural. It's good to hallucinate. This shit was made in a lab. First, I'll look at you. This was made through magic. After all, I, I make all these myself. Yeah, in your fucking meth lab. I do need to take you to North Pole's um, second floor sometime to show you the setup I've got. There's a second floor? Uh, yes, that's where that's where I made, uh, I was sleeping there, but I ended up getting something like sleep apnea from breathing in the fumes so I was suffocating in my sleep, so I had to go downstairs and sleep in the stripper lounges. That doesn't sound very comfy. I mean, like, we just wandered in off the street while they were cleaning the place. She's going to take this sticker and then take a look at it. She's going to walk off. She's going to start offering it to the other people in the back and tees. Look, lads, if we're all fucked up and something goes wrong, then none of us are going to be able to fight. <laughs> oh, she's going to put over at Chico. He He's fine. Yeah, one out of all of us. <laughs> Chico weighed like a starfish on a basketball court. He's <laughs> <sighs> his best Patrick Star impression. Don't worry, he's the invincible one. We'll be fine. <laughs> he never dies. He gets fucked up beyond our reason, but never. Death just won't take him. Nope. Death's like, no, he <laughs> smells bad. I'm not going to take him. As Meanwhile, death seems to follow me wherever I roam. I don't know. Yeah, that's because you deserve it. Yeah, I know. That's what I get for being a Fianna. <laughs> this is where Ryan would make a glib remark, but sadly, the Uctena have snowed him in. Or the Wendigo. Should have been you and not and not the White Howlers. You gotta look over and gotta say, "God, you took the wrong son." I mean. 
dear. He works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Alright, so look at this. I delete a map. How foolish of me. Lovely. Let's see. Yep. Uh Tyler, what would you do if um Elmiro was at your was at your cabin? And you were drinking wine together and all of a sudden Elmira just spilled the wine on your couch. Oh, it's fine, <laughs> I could steal another couch. See. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I spilled some wine on your couch. Uh, how foolish of me. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Man! So, yes, Gi Giant was stalling so he could make it to the map. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, alright. Alright. Chico, you having a snooze? Yep. Right. You're trying to get comfortable the best you can. Chico, hello, you're on a beach. What the hell? You're on a big fat beach. It's it's jiggling it so fat. Oh. There you are. Ah, just trying to enjoy yourself the best you can. Yeah. Let's see, I'm looking around. Ah, everything should be fine. And Chico, you're looking around, and it doesn't feel like we're alone. It feels like there might be some someone here with us. You look down at the ground. Chico, there it is. Paw print. What kind of paw print does this look like? See, a cat's paw print. Oh, fucking no! <laughs> <laughs> See, t tell her, tell, um, Kyle, tell me if you can hear the ambience in the background. Uh, there we go. Now I do. I, ah, had, to, right. I had to turn it up yeah, a bit, but see, as you you hear off in the distance, somebody somebody trying their way over to you. Oh, Chico, good, good to see you doing so well. Oh, he's managed to survive the fight with Nalcav. Why are you still here? I I made yarn from a hag to get rid of you. Don't, what, what, what we tell we told you, Chico. We, we all we've always been here. You just became aware of us. Why why are you back? Well, it's just it's just me this time. I, the the lads are back at the house having a cup of tea. Okay, why are you? What? <laughs> well, yeah, Chico's well, well, just very concerned. <laughs> Well, I'm over here to help you review your options. Review my options for what? Are you sure you want to stay in New York? I mean, not entirely. Because after all, all this, all this business going on with the with the Ratkin and the Shadow Lords and the and the Black Furies and the was it the Fiana? It doesn't exactly concern you, now, does it? Not really. I was hoping for, you know, a little bit of a vacay, but the fight never stops. Well, well, there's a, there's a very good place we can go on vacation. We can go all the way down to Mexico. You know, that actually does sound good. We can go on a little fun vacation. Well, where would you like to go? Would you like to go to Baja, California? You know, yeah. Yeah, a nice beach down there. Yeah, so why what's so down thinking, there though? Yeah, but I've been thinking it's like we get a car and then you get uh, all of your friends with you. You can take Tyla and Amira and you can take Grim with you and you can take Reynard. You no, know, they might want to go back to Europe maybe. And you we can all just go off to Mexico. We don't have to worry about any of this. Why are you giving me this option, cats? Like what's down in Mexico that for me? Well, that's, I'll tell you what's not in Mexico anymore. The Sabbat. We were the Sabbat. Well, they're still in Mexico, but you notice that they uh, they couldn't exactly stop Malkav on their own. I mean, this entire faction that was built to fight the Antiluvians, and they couldn't even do that right. Yeah. So there's, there's nothing to worry about going down there. I'm fair. Cat, are you a different some or 
leech down in Mexico trying to get me to go? Well, I, I don't know if my power is that strong. Do you guys sit up? Wait, are you Malcav? See, no, no, not not Malcav. No, I'm not. I'm not not the man himself. No. Well, then what are you? Well, would you like to try to take a guess? Uh, Heaven's Divide? No, no, I'd be a lot more angry if I was. Uh, some Sabat in Mexico? So I've never met? Let's see, some sort of anti trippy, you think? Maybe. Well, I suppose I could tell you my real name. What, what is it? See, well, first of all, I'm not British. I've been talking like this to throw you off. Okay. I'll tell you my real name. It is Nisiku. Nisitu. No, no, Ku with with a K. Nisiku. It's spelled like this. Nisiku. Yeah. All right. And what are you? See, well, uh, I told you I've always been here, but you just weren't aware of me until recently. So you're a spirit, maybe? See, no, not so much a spirit, I'm more of a mind. Now I'm even more confused. It's all about, you know, pragmatism. I mean, what exactly do you think you are? Do you think you're the soul? Or do you think you're the body? Or do you think you're the mind? A little bit of all of it? See, I mean, there are some people out there that think they're just a brain floating in an empty void. And that the entire world around them is just an illusion or a dream their brain thought up. That sounds like something Malkav would say. See, it, it is a very, very interesting thought to think about. What, you haven't thought once or twice that all of reality might just be a dream? I mean, on occasion, but I was very high. Well, so have all of your friends right now. They start doing the blue stickers. Aw, oh, shit. So, yeah, you, you get to talk with me until you wake up. So, I get my friends to go to Mexico. What happens to us there? What happens is that, well, it could be whatever you want that happens. I mean... You don't have to worry about the rats, you don't have to worry about the Shadow Lords, and everything's fine down there. You do have to your York tenant neighbors, but, you know, the tenant won't be left alone. Yeah. Chico is getting both very concerned by this, and a little bit curious. I mean, it's, it's good to be curious, after all. I mean, curiosity is the cat's game. Yeah. So I go down there, live a peaceful life. When the administration finally come down and, you know, stop the fun. Well, it's going to take years and years for the for the administration to do that. I mean, you saw how long it took for Manifest Destiny to take over. Yeah. So it, yeah. it's not going to happen at any point in your lifetime. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean, how old are you, Chico? Fifty? About that. So yeah, you you should be fine by that point. And then Tyler and Myra will have their kid, and then Grimmon and and Freya will have their fifth kid by that point. And you'll be fine. That's a lot of fucking kids. I that's can... a lot of kids. Yeah. I will tell my friends that I saw you and had this conversation when I wake up if I remember this. See. Oh, good, good, yeah. Oh, no, you'll, you'll remember, you'll remember. Right? And she nice goes like, am I gonna get to enjoy the be beach at all, or am I gonna wake up the second we're done talking? See, no, no, I'm gonna walk away now. Chico's just gonna walk, watch it walk away. And just, oh, that's not good. 
It's really not good. Alright. <laughs> so. Mm. Tyler. Yep. Let's see. Tyler and. Let's see here. Tyler, Almara, and Reynard, we're going to describe what the trip is. Dear, but I've got. I've got a way as to how we're going to describe this. Okay. We're going to use 100% of your brain for this. All right. Give me the one word story to describe how the trip is going. Oh shit, we're going to do this. Okay, um... Yeah, we... all right, so... All right, Sean, your turn. Enlightening? Let's see. Uh, me being your turn. Depraved. We and lightning depraved. Through. Through. Sean, your move. Very. Very. We and lightning depraved very through. Dars. Through Dars. The uh, doors. Stars. Stars. Sailed. Here's sailed. <laughs> you gotta think about this one, Sean. Um, I thought the idea wasn't to think. <laughs> Violently. <laughs> violently. We like to play through very stars, sailed violently. Apparitions. Apparitions. Appeared. There it is. That person's appeared. And. And. And Sean and. Two. <laughs> two. That person's appeared two. Um. Apparitions appear to Abraham appear Lincoln. One. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Spell with one word. <laughs> so, pull, pull up the King from Mars from Adventure Time. I, I don't know what that is. I didn't watch Adventure Time. It, it, it's it's Abraham Lincoln. Bro, I'm gonna yeah. be real. I so the the whole idea of the one word story. You can't really like take time to think. You got to just say the first thing that yeah. comes to mind. Exactly. So behold, we get to do um, the epic Adventure Time reference. Yeah, this is what you're thinking of right now. Yep, basically. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yep. Maybe who's the who's the 16th president of the United States? The 16th. Yes. Fuck if I know. Uh, Taft. Abraham I'm Canadian. Lincoln. No, it was Abraham Lincoln. Oh, okay. And who's on the penny? Well, Why I, are you I, asking the Canadian this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the answer to every question is the same. Okay. <laughs> and the five dollar bill. And uh and a president that destroyed states' rights. <laughs> I don't know about Completely. that. Pete. Well, actually, eh, we're not going to get into that. I don't think we should get yeah. into that. Kyle slowly stuffs his ANCAP flag back into its box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I like you libertarians, but that guy scares me. Points at the ANCAPs. <laughs> you be, that's where we're at right now. I got to read a couple <laughs> more books before I'm truly embraced the radicalization. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole lot of time to read. I'm trying to apply for a job on my breaks. Let's see, yeah, nobody actually reads the philosophy and economics books. They just spout whatever they want to pick from it. Ba well, that's that's the point of every philosophical book. I mean, have you have you not read um, Beyond Good and Evil, where Friedrich Nietzsche said the best, smartest thing in the world, where he said every philosopher is full of shit because you're all just trying to justify your own worldviews. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I the best part about Beyond Good and Evil is that like, it's like seventy five percent of the book is just him hitting on philosophy. 
I mean, he's right. Specifically he's philosophers. He's 100% right. And he said, all of my <laughs> colleagues are fucking stupid. And this includes me. But the best is he didn't just say that they're stupid. He gave evidence as to why they're stupid. <laughs> like, he worked backward logically how all of the other philosophers were dumb. There we go. <laughs> Maybe it's on the telephone. I can hear it. Oh, uh, no, it's YouTube reels and clips. Yes. All right, gotcha. Okay. See, as you snap out of it, on well, time the trip ends... Uh, Tyler and Amira and Renara, you're in a, it's like a massive pile of all these other different people. Well, not one on top of the other, you have your clothes on still. As, ah, the, the shared hallucinogenic experience. Uh, willpower and gnosis. Willpower and gnosis. In terms of everybody getting their stuff back, let's see how much you regenerate. Everyone will be getting back. Two points of temporary gnosis and two temporary willpower. And any rage. Any rage? No, it's been a peaceful scenario. Okay. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. You didn't get, you didn't get pissed about something in order to get the rage. Uh, the, we're girl gonna go red, the girl in the red cap appears twice for some reason. I'm wondering if that's... Uh... Yeah, it's because you're still tripping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These two women finally met. They look the exact same. Let's see. <laughs> yep. So, you pull yourself back into reality. Ah, Reinhard. This is a fun little space adventure. That was that trip made no sense. None at all. Let's see. Yeah, you took drugs and you're expecting some sort of enlightening experience. You thought you thought you were going to go see God? No. Well, that means to be fair, that we took the wrong drugs for that. That means the mage was. <laughs> oh, what do you need to take for that? To enlighten us. Oh, see, she, oh, that's like DM, That's DMT. <laughs> oh, they don't call it the God drug for nothing. I, I've been. I, I, also, I swear to God, if I ever get on Joe Rogan for any reason. And I sw he always asks every single guest if they've done DMT. So I'm going to get DMT, and I'm going to have it in my pocket with me. And when he asks me if I do DMT, I'm going to pull it out of my pocket and put it on the table in front of him and go, I guess we're going on this little trip together now, ain't we, Joey? I guarantee you he would go on it with you. Yes. He'd probably turn the cameras off because <laughs> yes, it's illegal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <He> 100% would. <laughs> He'd be like, all right, let's go find those elves. We're going. Uh, what, what, about, what about the the Salvia trip? Uh, I've done Salvia uh, uh, in Minecraft. The no. scariest shit you've ever done in your life. No, cut that out the episode. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really glad we're not live streaming. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 Sean doesn't work. It's fine. What are you talking about? Yeah, he does. Um, he collects $1,300 of social security every month. Okay, base. Ooh. Rip off the government. He signed a paper, piece of paper when he got off prison saying he was physically disabled. Who's who did this? Uh, you. I don't know. <laughs> Me? I didn't do that. Again, Johnny <laughs> gaslighting the cast for fun. I don't think that happened. I don't think I, that I don't have any. I don't have anything morally against that either because, I mean, how much money do I fucking give the government on other shit? Yeah, if I get it yeah. back in another... Any money you can get back from the government it's just your money. Yeah. <laughs> Dico, you wake up to the sound of a conversation about social security. Hmm. Dico was going to stretch out and walk over. You have a nice trip. Oh, uh, we were on a ship through the stars, and it was really rickety, and I saw Abraham Lincoln for some reason. Oh. And there were ghosts. Yeah. Fuck was up with that? And the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. He told me take this flintlock and find the deep descendant of John Wilkes Blue of John Wilkes Booth. And then he pulled up a mirror and he showed that it was you. Yeah, that that, that that's about where I woke up. <laughs> All right, we're feeling better. I figure out what in the hell are we supposed to do about all these rats? 
I don't know, we're going to wait for the big man over there to wake up. Or we could have the man with the gun do it. We're going to march over there, challenge him to a duel, and then we're going to blow his fucking head off in front of all his friends. Sounds like a plan to me. Um, Once I get you guys in private, I a conversation I need to have with you, a little feline told me to give you some information. Did you get demented again? No. I don't think so this time. I feel but like, I have... like a weird cat. Like a no. Chichiano scuttle. No. But I have any insight into what a, 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 a cat might be. A cat? What? <laughs> see. Uh... He, he you're well, what the cat, he's de he's describing he he was speaking to a cat. He, Would he, I have he, any idea of what might be appearing to him as a cat? He, he's quoting was a woman. He's saying I'm not a veterinarian, but I know what a cat is. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking about it, in terms of cats, ah, he must be talking with um, he must be a secret agent as well. He's talking with Bast the Bastet. No, no, that can't be it. He's no, no, no. Chico, Chico's smart, but he's not that smart. All right. Well, it's probably all that um, that marijuana he's been smoking, giving him psychosis. I don't think. Yeah, no clue. That. We got it. Yep. You gotta stop <laughs> hitting the pipe so much, Chico. I, um, I don't think it's that. I don't know what it is, but. The fact that it came around and one of the cats always kind of did seem different than the rest. I'm inclined to believe it's something else. Do you That's know this? Anyone know the name Nisku? Nisku, Nisku, uh... Nisku. I don't know. Can we Zero. roll for that or no? Z is your thinking. That's going to be a high success roll. It's going to be intelligence and occult difficulty, given this guy's kept his name out of records for years. Difficulty nine. Intelligence occult. No, I got nine. nothing. You got part of rage? Pretty high in those. Let's see. Tyler, uh, you would love to think about this, but you're currently coming off. Um, you got a hang uh, a headache from a from a come come down off of the drugs. All you right. said what's in a cult? Intelligence. Intelligence. Oh. How smart are you? Z. Intelligence in a cult. Difficulty six. Or... Difficult difficulty difficulty nine. Nine. Rare has half a brain. No. Reynard, you know what that name is supposed to mean. You know what that name is supposed to translate into? It means clever prince. And that's a Sumerian origin word. I will whisper clever prince under my breath, but loud enough that other people can hear me. Mm -hmm. Well, what was that? What did Reinhardt just say? What was that? Nothing. That's just that's just, that's just what the name means. Clever, pretty oh. interesting. I don't know. Very smart, you know. I don't know that much about Sumerian history. I thinking about this. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming to me as a cat in my head, but. I don't know, maybe the big man downstairs knows. Anybody feel like falling into a sensory deprivation tank again? Worth a shot. Yeah, may as well ask him before we go, you know, get rid of the rat king. Besides, if we're fighting rats, the help of a deity taking a cat, or the help of a clever prince taking the form of a cat might be quite useful. Thank you. Your knowledge may vary. <laughs> yeah, we'll I'm see. I'm thirsty. Let's see, you're thirsty for some Bacchus. No, like juice or or maybe water. 
Oh, I'll let it come down. Yeah, there's got to be a water around here somewhere. How oh, you're next to the the ocean is to the south. Well, yeah, but that's salt water. <laughs> well, I mean, we could probably borrow some wine from from Bacchus. You're also you're also at um a recreation center, so there's probably a vending machine around somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Dear. All right. So you you can be the good boyfriend and you can get Elmira or something. Uh that I will. Where is there a vending machine? Uh to the north with all the other buildings next to the soccer field. Oh wait, outside of the thing? Yes. Alright. All right back. Did you go off and see her? Uh Chico, you were saying about the about the cat? Yeah, we can go. We can ask Bacchus if you think he would know. If not, might be something we should just keep to ourselves. Maybe seeing how this thing keeps showing up to me. How often has it shown up to you? Well, oh, it was while you were gone, uh, Reynard. I got demented and I kept seeing cats everywhere I went for about a week. That sounds... I'm afraid it might be, in part, having to deal with a vamp. Oh, that's concerning. Very. I don't trust these visions. I don't either, especially with how it's insistent of us to go to Mexico. And how it was very... It was very adamant that the Sabbat weren't there. Frankly, it sounds like something I would do to get someone to do what I want them to do, and that just tells me we should do the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do not go to Mexico. Uh, not yet, at least. Chico might, after the adventure ends, and go down there to see what's what, but... As of now, no. As of, as of the events of this game, it was Mex Mexico who built the wall to keep Americans out. The re the reverse happened in our game. <laughs> that is kind of funny. See, that happened in a comic book recently. Really? <laughs> yeah, there was a comic book about it. Yeah, it was a Superman comic. Yeah, it was something else. Some indie comic. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> And see her. Tyler, what do emo girls like to drink? Well, I mean, given we just got out of a trip and she's thirsty, um, I'll get her. It's probably good. All right, so roll a straight d10 for fate. D10 for fate? Yeah, just a just a straight d10 roll. Nope. Let's see the unluckiest well, beyond in the world. <laughs> We found exactly what we needed. Did we? Right. So, yeah, we come back to to Elmira. You found you found exactly what she was looking for. Did I? Yeah. See, it's all right. Let, go probably ahead, let's know go. what I'm looking for. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh come on! Re fucking ex really? <laughs> the shit is not it. I already don't like sparkling. Can I go back there and roll a fucking... Can I roll... Um, can I roll larceny or something to try and, you know, get the vending machine? As you as you walk over, yeah, you did the larceny to the reach over and grab the, the water and thinking, oh, yes, oh, yes, she'll love this. And as you're walking back, you look at it and you think, nah, nah, she's not going to want this. You just throw it over your shoulder. Pure <laughs> shite. I'm going to trash it and then go over... Uh, I guess, What would it be to... I, I think to like try and to try and like get something out of it manually to be like strength and larceny, but to try and like yeah. game the machine, it would be intelligence and larceny. Just punch through the machine. Yeah, but yeah, but the rest of the ladies in the Karen might look might frown upon that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so yeah, st strength and larceny, difficulty six. Actually, so can I gamble a little bit and do intelligence and larceny? All right, let's do it. 
I'm gonna see if I can if I can fuck with the machine a little bit. Inton Larceny. You smart. You smart. Zier. Alright, so let's see Alright, wonderful. Um Elmira, you wanted Gatorade, didn't you? Uh sure. Let's see. If I, I need I... my electrolytes. Let's see if I remember how to do this. And he's gonna like mash the button a couple of times until he hears a boom. Ha! It worked. Let's see you. Let's give you let's give you a weird one. Let's see. Let's paste this in the rule twenty. Uh, ah, there it is. We, we've got like Kroger's image link for it. <laughs> okay, we'll go to Kroger.com. Uh, let's see what it is. Oh, it's oh, it's the zero. It's the fucking zero calorie watermelon one. God exactly. damn it! What? Why is New York like this? Why are you trying to make me drink something healthy? They only got like odd fucking flavors in there. I don't know why. It's 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 Kirby flavored. It it looks it looks the way he would taste. All right. So back back to it. So Chico and Reynard were thinking, no, let's not do Mexico. Yeah. We gotta do the duel, but we gotta wait for Grim to wake up, right? I think that so. That would probably make the most sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You don't think you got the stones to do it, Chico? I mean... Yes, if Chico cheated the entire round by just trick-shotting, like... Shit, but... <laughs> and... In terms of Reynard... You don't think you want to become Coyote and then handle Burst Bruiser by yourself? Mm. Uh, but by this point, you can just whip that transformation out whenever. Yeah, I don't want to, though. I want to use it sparingly. You don't want to? No. It's a trump card. I also don't necessarily like giving up control of myself. Gotcha. Let's think about this. So yeah, it seems that all of our hopes and dreams lie on the shoulders of Grim. No pressure, right? Yeah. <laughs> I basically I would I would if it came down to it, I would. But I wouldn't do it to start off with. Yeah. Like if it looked like like we were getting fucked up, I would pull it out. Well, we also have Tyler. Okay, never mind. Tyler loses every fight he goes into. See, um... I have considered the possibility that the only reason uh, Grim is still alpha is that Elmira hasn't felt the need to take it away from him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come, come to think of it, Elmira is very good on the battlefield. So, if Grim stays asleep or he's knocked out, we could throw Elmira into it instead, right? We, it also might be good without a Black Fury does it. I have no interest in leading any Garu, but... It would align to what they want to do. Well, I mean, I quite like Bacchus's ideas, and, you know, even though the Black Furies aren't very kind to me, but, you know, small victories, at least the Bonars will be around. And who knows? Maybe another Cairn will open up around here after we clear out of the Ratkin, and then, you know, Murphy and I can move in. Reynard, the plot thickens that Fiona are also trying to get a cut of this. Mm. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a cluster. <laughs> Look, a whole bunch of Garo in one city. What could go wrong? Oh, because we all get along so well. Well, I mean, well, it's a territorial by nature, sure, but... Yeah, fuck it. We're all here. Trying to, pray, trying to spread the praise as a mother guy and all that. Could go worse. <laughs> Besides, it it'd always be fun if you get administrate him. Behold the flapping of wings. Oh. This is... Behold, it's Jaden. Oh, hey, Birdman. Are you back? He's going to fly back down. He's been here the entire time. He's just showing to uh, revealing himself now. And he flies down. He says, <clears throat> Hey, um. No secrets or anything. You said something about the administration not wanting to be under them anymore. Yeah, and to fuck you gonna do about it? Well, I'm a Korax. You understand I have to tell people this. 
What? The words of one Fianna? Well, yes, after all, the, the administration does pay me for that. But here's a better idea. You want to try to take on Burst Bruiser by ourselves in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. What if he were to have a little accident, so to speak? How can a Mod Top Big have an accident? See, well, that's for the Christ to figure out. I've still got the plan at work. I've got multiple plans as to how that could happen, but I'm trying to pick which one I want to do. Tell you what, let us try and kill him, and if it didn't work, we'll kill you. Is that? I'll be in my in my avian form, watching you the entire time. Right, and. Tell Storm he's a bastard and I hope he dies. I, need to, I will need to track down, track him down for that. Uh, he's probably still groveling in a bar of the loss of his job. His shite ass desk job where he should have fucking stayed. As Kyrus is listening to this, oh, you've got you're looking for all these fighters and you haven't, you haven't considered asking me. Well, we were trying to keep it in the pack. You know, back of city wanted to minimize casualties. I'm... I'm rank four. I'm the one who causes the casualties. Say no more. Welcome to the fray. As Kyrus is going to pick up the Libris, I can handle that by myself. You just sit back and watch. Hmm. Wait a minute. What rank was Star when Burst Bruiser punched him through the earth? See, rank... Ah, oh, rank... Rank three. Oh, what the fuck? We're the same rank as him now? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, with that, I think with um, the wild plan we have set, that is a good spot to pet for tonight. Sounds good. A little um, bit of an all-over-the-place session, but Johnny was, you know, caught with... <laughs> Fuck loads of work, which isn't necessarily. Yeah, I had fun regardless. It's more, it's more that I was interested in enjoying myself tonight. I'm okay yeah. with that. I had a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, there we go. In terms of experience points, um, let's go ahead and let's give you five. Really? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck yeah, it. I fight a beast of war. Oh beast yeah. Yeah. Let's get sad. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. In the fire, beast of war. We we bodied that beast of war within three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With two of us missing, only five. <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a fuckload of editing to do on this video. All right, we gotta cut out that. You gotta cut out that completely unlistenable portion. Yeah, the part where I was like fumbling around, realizing my internet was dead. <laughs> Okay, so as it turns out, my internet can't really stream, which is odd because, Johnny, remember you, a couple months ago when you came around, I think it was last summer, yeah. like we yes. streamed all day and it was fine. It's, it was just this it's instance. because you didn't have Roll20 open, which Roll20 eats up RAM like a motherfucker. Well, th yeah. that's RAM. That's local memory. That doesn't eat up bandwidth. Roll twenty yeah, is true. I don't know who designed that site, but it drains everything attached to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I gotta find a way to fucking implement the three point five rule book into roll twenty. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. You don't have to worry about that. Just use the Rokea sheet. The Rokea sheet? Yes. Really? That one's second edition compatible. Well yeah, but we wanted to do the three point five sheet. Yes, yeah, so I made that game to be compatible with the second edition sheet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you were telling me it was like, you do it. And I'm like, ah, fuck, that's going to take a minute. Yes. All right. All right, that was fun. Think... And because now that Bacchus was back and I have to age restrict the video again. And we, <laughs> we didn't actually show any naughty bits. That's true. That's true. It was implied, yeah. though. <laughs> it was implied. And it was very sexy the way it was implied. Yes, we were just, you know... Okay, I'm going to stop that joke right there. Anyway. <laughs> well, just a of guys, you know? All right. <laughs> so join us in two weeks again where we go kill a rat and then have a road trip to Mexico. All right. And we get to forget about it. We get to figure out, we get to figure out who this cat is, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
All right. Well, All right. Well, that tears it. So, so more likely we'll have the actual final boss session at that point. Which one? Let's see. We've got a couple of final bosses in the game still walking around. Yeah. One of them is encased in concrete, but I think he could come out whenever the fuck he felt like. Yeah, I'll wait for Vigo Corinth to reappear. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a little rough. Uh, we'll we'll figure it all out. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> GN. All right, all right. Until you hear Vigo's actual goal now, it's really stupid but fitting. Yeah, that we'll Tell we'll us. find that out. Yep. Yeah.